All right. This is our first recorded episode of Total Justice Gaming. This is quite possibly one of the biggest undertakings we're going to have for at least two months. Because of this, I had to assemble the entire crew. So we brought back Mark. Yeah, yeah. I exist yeah. again, remember? Yeah, see? See, I'm still around. Um, I took out a new job and, you know, tried to work out, like, going back to school and all that stuff. And it just, it's it's super crazy and it's hard to do the show consistently. Um, and that's unfair to everyone, honestly. So, uh, but I do have a couple of days here. We're going to be going through uh, a mountain of cards in these next, this next, these next few hours. It's going to be uh, quite an adventure. So drink, drink, drink up while you can. <laughs> As always, I have Matt and Jesse with me. We're going to try and tackle 144 cards. This is only part one, people. Get hype! <laughs> How you get your green screen? I've been watching like what, so much Max Millions. All I need is a little Pomeranian called, I don't know, Fred the Card Dog. Arf, arf, arf. All right, first up, we are going in alphabetical order, people. So um, we will not be going by the official Jazzco thing. It just makes it easier on us by going alphabetical. Uh, again, this is only part one. We're going to be doing Airman through Metal Man, and then we'll be doing the rest uh, in the part two. So um, we may not be going over all the stats for this review. Um, as we've read them before, more than likely I'm going to anyways, just because I'm a stickler. <laughs> So we're going to dive right into this. So we got Airman 628, Air Life and Void, Enhanced Commit 1 Foundation, this attack gets plus 3 or minus 2 speed, response once per turn, after your opponent plays an ability on a non-character card that modifies speed of attack, cancel it. <laughs> this man. He's okay. Yeah. He's a solid sideboard thing because of his R. Um... It's definitely, I want to put them together, like, speed manipulation is going to be a thing post-rotation, and he's the best at it. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think his, uh, he, he, it's more about minus two speed, mm -hmm. but I think the minus two speed is more important than the plus three, he's going to block a lot of stuff, he's going to make it really easy to block stuff, it's going to be hard to block his stuff, um, so that's a good, good one-two punch, I think he's okay. Yeah. He looked uh, a lot better when he was our first character. Yeah, I guess. I like him just fine. Uh, obviously, he's got a lot of hype around him. He has his own music video, uh, which we actually have a card that actually pays homage to said music video. So, you know, he'll see play. He's definitely one of the higher-end characters at speed manipulation, and uh, I think he's going to be... He's probably the most valid off-air. No, surprise, surprise. But I think he's got a few tricks off of Void in Life. Yeah, as a special note, I think all the characters are definitely playable. It's yes. I have a tough decision, I think, on which ones will actually be at the top tables, like come Gen Con. You are such a liar. I've seen what your uh, your rating is for Gemini Man. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, after we post this, uh, we'll have a chart that's like the basic ratings of all of our cards, uh, what we think about them. Go look at it. Go comment on it. That's where we'll get more in-depth if you want to ask specific things about stuff. All right, moving on, because we got a lot to do tonight. Yep. Uh, Air Tiki, two for four, plus two high, ally terrain and unique. While this card is in your staging area, all speed bonuses get plus one. Response commit before the block step, return the stack to its printed speed. Uh, another solid speed reset, and all your speed bonuses get an additional one. Meaning this dude is getting your attacks plus four speed every time he activates. As long as he got Tiki. It's, I, this, is, this is fun. There's a lot of assets. There's a lot of assets in this set. You gotta think about. And a lot of terrain to too. Rotate Rose's piano. <laughs> There's a lot of assets. I, I think the, the hard part with a card like this is that to play an asset, you have to kind of weigh the option, especially on those kinds of symbols where it's got two symbols with lion stance and it's got at least, I think it's got just, I'm trying to remember all the Zealot Rush symbols. It's got, but it's your symbols with lion stance, your symbols with Zealot Rush. Um, are you going to want to use your asset? Because with every deck, you got to go, okay, do I want three, four assets, something like that. When you get above that, it better be really awesome assets. 
Um, I don't know if this this is going to be one of these cards I think is going to be on my like it's going to be on the bubble and it's just not going to I I don't see it getting a lot of play just because of the symbols it has and what it shares symbols with. Mm. Me, I don't like giving options to my opponent. It's why I was turned off from Bernstein Stadium for so long until I realized that was a mistake. But yeah, that card's still good. But this, uh, it's a four check. It'll. Yeah. That, some people will definitely play it. Like I could see in not even in Airman. I could see it in Gemini Man seeing some play because it just double boosts with him. Uh, there's gonna be a few. There's just gonna be some instances where this card's gonna be better in other people. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, we better you move on, or are we going to? Anybody got no. anything else? No. Next. All right, uh, air shooter, five difficulty, three, plus one mid, two mid, four, multiple two, ranged. If this attack is five or more speed, change its zone to any other zone. Multiple copies of this attack also gain this enhance. These attacks, um, minus the two speed, but for everything else it has, like, if there was a better I mean, way to get momentum... This is definitely a you're going to be playing. The, this will see play, I think, in Lilith. This will see. Def, this is that's where I really think this card's going to see its its play. Because if you can get to that three magic three number with Lilith on the speed boost, this card's just like okay. These this is all, these are all hitting. Lilith Tiki. Yeah, well, maybe a little. My only gripe with Lilith is that it's a four damage attack. Um, if it was, I'd actually rather this be two mid three than two mid four, because then you could really take advantage of some of the extra stuff in her in her support and things like that. Um, I it's it's cool for what it is. Um, I, mean, I don't love a five diff on this. Yeah. Mm. Eh. I mean, he has. You got to think about it. His his power level. Like consider this to his ultra rare. Like it's good to see a multiple in his set in his set, and compared to what his what his ultra rare does. I mean, this is solid. This is solid for what it is. Will it see play? Yeah. Probably not. No, but I, I, really, I bet you somebody will get something out of it. I think as long as Hurricane Upper is a thing, uh, it's it's going to be tough. I know that you can change the zone and stuff. Um, I I think I think Hurricane Upper is a better version of this card. Yeah, that yes. would probably that would be my gripe, I guess. Yeah, like the five difficulties definitely harsh. It feels like they scaled the stats on this with maybe better momentum generation existing, which. Doesn't it feels held back? Yes, <laughs> like a bad student. Yeah, well, we all agree. If this was a four. This oh, there's a four. This card would be this there card. Is four. Card is uh, card's good. Yeah. All right, moving on. Air slam. Uh, four difficulty three plus three mid three high four. Slam. Uh, What's up, man? Oh yeah, slam. Uh, First slam of the night. Uh, enhance. If this attack speed is five or more, draw one card. This draw card's gonna. You're playing this card to cycle. Hey guys, like, this card's amazing. It doesn't have. It doesn't have to hit. Is even better. Yeah. This is probably my favorite Airman card. Um. There's a lot of characters that can turn on the card draw very quickly and very easily. Um. Mm. Especially. Um, it's one of the two big slams uh, to put after Gemini Beam to draw you cards. Oh, yeah. And it has the slam keyword, so it, it obviously has to be awesome, right, Slam? Slam! Um, that card, I, honest, honestly, is very, very good. I think it might be the best slam that we've talked about so far, at least, because there's a couple more that are better. But uh, it's a really, really, really good <laughs> card. Um, guys, it shares symbols with Gemini Man. I uh, mm -hmm. play it. Gemini Man is going to make it a five high five and draw. Um, it, it's the I think it's a really good card, and the fact that it only has to be five speed means it's not relegated to just you have to have that three speed from Airman. You can get two from somewhere. There's a lot of random cards that just go here's two speed. Uh, e Peaceful Messenger, you commit two speed. Now you can draw off of this. Um, so I I think this card's really good. It's a if it was a now here's like the comparison. If this was a five diff, it'd be less enticing, but as a four diff, it's amazing. Um, so I, I like this card a lot. I, it's it's the best slam outside of the Proto Man one we haven't discussed. Uh, for me, uh, I still find this a solid card. 
Uh, this could potentially also go into uh, maybe a Protoman build for more draw. Although Protoman may be a wee bit tight in building, but you know, people got to try something out there. Yep. For those of you that also do not know, uh, this is actually a keyword ability. When you play Slam, Mark Winoneski shows up in your house, he yells Slam, and then just leaves. I just walk in, yeah, I, I, you guys, you, you're playing over the dinner table or something, and I'm just like, Slam! And then I just turn around and walk out the front door. Um, yes, that's new, it. New keyword. Are you hiring some stunt doubles for this? <laughs> gonna be um, I'm going to be like Santa Claus at the mall. There's going to be a bunch of guys just walking around in like 80s and 90s wrestling t-shirts who show up and yell slam at your house. Um, it, it's it's a good, um, I, it, people were kind of confused. They thought it was going to be like some crazy mechanic. All it means is it's like a punch or a kick. Um, yeah. In theory, it's like throwing your body into someone, you know, hit them with your shoulder or something, but, uh, <laughs> a tackle. But um, realistically, Yeah, I was going to say, realistically, if you think about the old Mega Man games, uh, they have two options to damage you. They either shoot you with their ability, or they jump into you, or you run into them because you don't know how to do timing, or oh, they jump into you. So essentially, that's where this slam comes from. Yep. Amazing right. card, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, onward, Air Typhoon, 5 difficulty, no block, 4 mid, 6, 3 check, powerful 2 ranged. Attack ability of whenever this attack speed is reduced below four, return this attack to its printed speed. It has a symbol air enhance. Enhance uh, air enhance. If this attack speed is seven or more, it gets plus one to its powerful rating. This card is the reason why focus charge has got reprinted. <laughs> reason is why focus charge will more than likely be three to five dollars when the set's released. Well, what are you talking about? We have comments about it. Hang on to your Tides comments, boys. They're going to be 3 to $5. No, I'm just trolling. It's, um, it's, it's going to be... Um, it, this card is really good. I, I was a little down on it when I first read it, and then I was looking... I was kind of looking into more of the interactions and things like that, and I think this card actually is going to be really good. Obviously, Focus Charge is a great setup for it. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it, but if you have even a little bit of momentum and you can go, you know, all right, it's seven or more, it's got plus one, and you, you Focus mm -hmm. Charge, it's, plus, it's a powerful four with a bunch of speed on it, that's not a bad thing ever. Um, as long as you have an answer for some of the speed resets, you're cool. And you're, yeah, this, if you're this playing is going to be a... I feel like this is going to be a kill condition in a couple, in some decks... Like, but they really have the speed bump plan. You just be like, play this, speed pump it. Like, but like it's it's definitely an air. It feels niche to Airman at the moment, but it it seems like it could be like you could play that in like New Proto Man or something like that. And be like, this is the finisher in New Proto Man. We you might play an old Proto Man. Great card. Oh yeah, even old Proto Man. Yeah, I see it in Lilith. Just ignore her ability to pick up three difficult things. Like you can pick up your focus charge or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, like, I'll get on to my rant on Lilith another day. That's no, that's a good answer though. That's I mean, yeah. le legitimately, if your character's got some kind of built-in speed, um, Lilith's a great character for it. Where you can just go, all right, it's seven speed. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, here you go. Deal with it. Gemini Man's too busy throwing beams and slamming people for this though. <laughs> that's part of it. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, or you know, some people in Darkstalkers like Felicia may want this. It's true. True. We don't know. We, 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 got, that, we don't know what that, that does yet. We got a month. <laughs> All right. Onward. Uh, foundations. Uh, dust in the wind. Two difficulty five plus three high. Response commit. After your opponent's attack receives a speed bonus, it gets minus X speed. X equals double that speed bonus. So needless to say, this is probably going to be one of those staples you'll see in any deck that can run these symbols because the speed hate is strong. At least a couple. I, I, I think you'll see it between the either their main deck or in their side deck. That's where you'll see this card. Like it's a, it definitely fits in those symbols. It's a good hate card on speed on spe uh, first speed reduction. I like it. I th I think you mean it, and and it kills uh, it kills childhood sweethearts entirely. Like I I don't know why you even run childhood sweethearts anymore when this card exists. If you're playing air at least, um, mm -hmm. th this card is is super good. Um, two five with a high block. I, it's it just does all the things you need. Um, I'm, I am I don't think I'll ever not main this in general. Probably to, uh, at least a couple of copies. You could probably maybe main a couple, side a couple, and like. Well, that's strong. I can card. see it the time when you don't main it when you're not playing one of these symbols. That's yeah. Yeah. Doctor <laughs> Fossek does allow that to not happen though. Uh, 
Like I, this is actually on my on my short list of Kaza cards. I'm being like, I'm gonna see if I can sneak this card into play. <laughs> oh. All right. Very Ooh. simple. Uh, frightening appearance. One difficulty five plus two mid. Response commit after your opponent chooses not to attempt to block an attack. It gets plus one damage. Killing baby dinosaurs. Uh, it's it's like it's like killing dinosaurs. Uh, you know, it, going through that awkward teenage phase. You know, where you got the I don't know. But it, it's um, it, instead of plus two, it's plus one. Um, it's spam. It's not bad. Um, yeah. I I don't. I actually I've been playtesting some of the Mega Man stuff and whatnot, and uh, I've I've been using this in some decks, and it's it's interesting for what it is. Um, it's still a one five spam. It's still got a block on it. So that the, just that in general is always a plus, um, considering that there's blank Mega Man cards that exist only to do that. Um, give it a nice little ability that's basically a baby killing dinosaurs, and I like this one a lot too. Yeah, like this set has a lot of very good spam foundations, which is like decent block, very good stats, one fives. Like there's a lot of zero sixes, the zero zero or one sixes too for spam. Mm -hmm. So it's just a lot of good filler things that I think will uh, make a lot of decks run better. Yeah, I think this. I think it's, I'm kind of being the horse eyes. I like that it's <laughs> like every symbol set somehow ended up with a one five with a plus two mid. Like that 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 exact system got spread around between a couple of different symbols this in this set. I like that because they just the every set needs that. I think. Like, the card doesn't have to be great every time. It doesn't have to be in every deck, but you have that option of, I have a good block with a, a solid foundation. If it does something that's relevant, even better. All right. Also, why he not a card? Who's that? Who is Flash that? Flashman. Flashman? Oh, okay. You didn't want him wearing trench coats and hanging out in parks? <laughs> <laughs> I will accept that answer as we move on. Okay. Hatred <laughs> of Autumn. got a fist bump out of that. That's ridiculous. Hatred <laughs> of Autumn, 2 for 5, no block. Enhanced commit, this deck gets plus 1 or minus 1 speed. Enhanced commit, seal one of your opponent's all death or earth foundations. I hope you liked Memories of a Nightmare, because it's back. Is this yeah. Memories of a Nightmare? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Pretty much. It, it, different, uh, uh, different target, different symbols, but the idea is the same. It, it's uh, three symbol yeah. specific foundations, um, it, it, or three symbol specific, it, whatever. Um, but it's 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 memories of a nightmare with some different symbols <laughs> on it. Um, solid card. It, it it's good. I don't know. Um, it's a different meta, so I don't know if it's going to be one of those things like memories of a nightmare. I think was a three to four of in a lot of decks in its era. Um, I think this might be a little different. I don't think this is going to be quite the same. Uh, uh, I, I would actually disagree because this symbol right here is still a thing <laughs> because we have... Boy, in the lost. Uh, I was actually going to say like five different characters that can Trinity guys are super easy after this set. No, after this set. Or if you do your lead in attack and you want to stop Copacan training or something like that too. That's, yeah. yeah. I think it's more of an aggressive piece to use because... Yep. Off or stopping things like their components and whatnot, because there's actually a lot of cards in all that you think you want to seal that are going to be rotating. Clandestine's yeah. going to leave. Um, yeah. Like a lot of, <laughs> that's all, the only a one. lot of, like, I mean, Clandestine's a big one. Uh, yep. I mean, the other one, all the ones you can't, like the best, I mean, the best card this is going to hit for a while until I see more development of the meta is going to be more in the loss. Like, it stops them from... They get one off, and if they have multiples, you can at least stop them from throwing two of them out, or you just gotta, like... You gotta control them properly. I really also think that you're gonna be seeing a lot of death stuff, too, because you got a lot of Wily stuff, a lot of Chin stuff, uh, a lot of Skullman stuff. Heck, even Shin... Some of Shin stuff works a little bit better now. There's yeah. a lot of... That rotates. There's a lot of cards. Yeah, I, I think, and Joe, I think you're really on to something. I think there's a lot of really good stuff in death. Um, there's stuff that's out in death right now that no one's playing and I think is going to get played with this new stuff too. Yeah. Um, so I, I think some of those cards are going to be targeted when the the man comes around. Because <laughs> I agree with it. Um, no, like I was looking at death. A lot of Shin stuff actually works with... Uh, Certain cards, uh, especially for Skullman, because a lot of Shin stuff, 
cycle stuff back into your deck. So sealing stuff that cycles those cards that lets Balance Fighter go back in the deck after you discard it for the draw, yeah. that's that's an issue. Yeah. By the way, Breakfast and Crime Fighter, those are the other cards I was thinking of that are legal. Yeah. Ah. Oh, breakfast. The fact that this hit that yeah, like this card came a little late on the fact that it was it it seals Crime Fighter. <laughs> I just realized I'm like, man, I really wish we had a way to like it was not using cat forces to do that. Well, I mean, later. it can still seal Crime Fighter up till June 1st. Yeah. <laughs> up till June 1st, you guys can still seal that Crime Fighter, guys. All right. For all those events we're going to between now and then. <laughs> all right. Moving on. Uh, Talsonite. Oh. Talsonite. I... You cannot defeat me. That is actually cannot be beaten. That is what Talsonai means. I'm glad you translated that because I was just going to say I thought it translated into bad card. Um, I, I don't think this is a very good card. I, and I, I I saw from some of the ratings that I might get disagreed with, and that's fine. Um, I, it's it has a, three, a music video named after it. How could it be bad? Let me read three, it off. 3-4 four, four. Three, four with a low block, which is cool, but it's unique. And I don't think that removing it from the game is a good enough cost to make your opponent commit a foundation to reduce speed or, like, increase speed of it. Well, to play... Well, if it's beginning of an extra, so yeah, they can do it on their turn, too. This is know. a sideboard card, because this could go really, really handy against a mirror match. Like, or, if you're playing air, If Airman becomes a thing, and somehow people... Like, somebody... If some named player gets on Mirror Man and people start to follow him, this this is your answer to that play, that matchup. And it's the same with Lilith. It's the same, like, there's... That turns where, if you could put, if you could stick this on the board and activate it, it you can do this. You just start wailing on them with on uh, their turn. If they have, they're playing speed reduction. They're tapping two foundations for speed reduction, and then when they try to come back at you, they're tapping out their board more, even more again. Like you just I get that. I, I guess I, you know what? Uh, maybe two was too high. Let me go ahead. I'm on the thing right now. Is it locked? So I can it's change locked. my read. It's locked. Okay, never mind. I was about to go. All right, Jesse, you got me on board. I'm gonna go to like three. Um, but I've got it at two I'll, I'll right change now. I'll change it for you. Uh, oh, oh. I the, love this artwork, by the way. This literally that is cool artwork. Dark side, or because he has that mentality. This is both beneath me, and I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got his hands behind his back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll agree. Jesse got me to bring it up to two point five. Yep. yep. You got um, it. Like, it's, just, it's definitely a. Si it's not a. It's a this si has to be in every deck playing. Like it's not like that unique that you need to play in every deck playing those symbols. But in your cyborg, I would probably have a slot for it at least. Yes. Like, this is yeah, a, I don't take that. one slot up in a sideboard for a mirror match. Not bad. Yeah. Like cards that I rated poorly and cards I'm like eh about are just like I think they're sideboard or niche cards. Like I am scared if someone plays this against me when I'm playing Gemini, man. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to go off. Like, if I go. If you're trying. If you're. You get a good. Like, if I go first and I play four foundations in this, you're. And you go second, you build. And then you're like, I go. And like, if I don't pop. If I pop it, you're just. You can't go off on turn two. It gives me another build turn. Mm -hmm. That's what it really does. It protects me. Not to mention, we've already proven that Ultra Rares and Rares will be foiled. This is going to look fantastic foiled. Yeah, That's going to be a cool-looking Ultra Rare. Yeah. All right. We are moving out of Airman and moving into Dr. Cossack. <clears throat> that did not work, so... Uh, uh. I figured this was going to happen, so... Da -da -da. This is a great way for us to mark. Wait, what? For me to mark where uh, we uh, put in the embedded codes to mark individual characters. Okay. So we have. Okay. Now I can do the read. Don't worry. I got. We got this. Jug of water. I'm good. Yeah. good water for the working man. Uh, all right, the Dr. Most unexpected character in the set. <laughs> Dr. Mikhail Kosak. Uh, five difficulty, or not five difficulty, he is five hand size, 31 health. He is all good in water. 
he is response after you check an attack to play after you check a foundation to play an attack. That attack gets plus two damage. He also has enhanced twice per turn. You may add one foundation from your discard pile to the top of your deck. Ready what? Ready one non-unique foundation that has been not ready this combat phase. Move the next card you check this turn from the game. This guy is gonna. I need to put this guy together before I can make a really solid. Like my, I my raid on him was kind of like this guy's either busted or he's too. He just he's too slow. Just like, I that's completely agree. Like. And, and my my gripe with Cossack is I. And I gave him, we, we did our ratings, and I think this is where we did it on a scale of 1 to 5, and I rated him a 2. He's the lowest character rating I've given to anyone in the Mega Man set, because I, just on paper, just looking at him, I have not built him, this all full disclosure, I have not built him, um, I, just looking at it, I don't see what he does to make up for the fact that he's a 531. Um, a 5 hand size is a disadvantage. Um, you, you get more life, but... He's a 31 as opposed to, like, Clark is a 34, Goro's a 35, and they both, in a way, have a way to cheat their hand size a little bit. Clark's got his response where if you take damage, you draw. Goro, if you block, he, he can draw if he's got momentum, but he's also got Jiraishin, where if Jiraishin does damage, he draws. Um, so there's ways that they're cheating their five hand size. Classic doesn't cheat his hand size, and if you don't have a way around that five hand size, I, I don't see how, other than getting, like, a turn one Citadel, you don't I don't. I don't see how like, you don't just fall way behind and he, not win. Like my feeling is, his only cheat is he cheats his checks. Like you get your first, you get three, you get three attacks. Like after you build at one build turn, you're just playing three attacks a turn. You're playing three attacks a turn where you're just setting up your checks. And you're just guaranteeing them. That's honestly, the only thing I feel like. Honestly, I've not seen a card this wordy since Meat Eater. I. My opinion on him is, I actually think he'll be kind of crazy with the Skullman stuff until it rotates. Um, Which Super Skullman? Skullman Super Skullman. Super Skullman or Skullman Skullman? Because that is a thing. <laughs> Super Skullman 33. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do agree. I think an extended build to him could be really cool. Um, I'd like to see him with like breakfast and some of the manipulation stuff if your hand size is smaller or whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't know about him just in a standard format without access to the Super Skullman stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like he's he's definitely. I think I put him pretty low too. Um, he's okay. I don't like him. I also don't like five hand size characters for the most part. I think Clark is my only five hand size character I've ever played in this game. I love five hand size characters, and I don't like Cossack. I, I, maybe there's something I'm missing. Uh, maybe if I sit down and, like, really, like, I, there's some characters. I'm at the point now I don't feel like printing off a bunch of proxies to test stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I just, I'm at the point now where I'm just kind of waiting for the set, and I'm going to try them when the set comes out. But until then, right, it just on paper, I, I just don't see it. I, I, don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, and I totally agree. Uh, like you said, and I totally agree with this, uh, he needs a way to cheat hand size. I mean, and outside of playing all and playing Tame Fatal Fury stuff to get that draw, there's really not much out there for him. Yeah. Maybe he will be better in extended, but, you know, right now, not that great. Moving on. Yep. Uh, Cossack Citadel, 2 for 5, plus 3 mid. Uh, terrain, static effect of all this card is in your staging area. At the start of each player's end phase, that player may ready one foundation. Uh, he has also, it also has form, commit, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a foundation, add it to your staging area. Return of the Grey Wars it has. It is the Return of the Grey War. The Grey War went on long into winter. Uh, this this card's really good. Um, I it's you got if you get it early, it's your opponent's in a lot of trouble because um, it, it's going to be very hard to keep up with you, especially if you're a larger hand size. Um, I like this more. I, I it's a five it's five hand size support. But, like, if you're seven-hander and you're just dropping free foundations, yeah. all right, cool, bro. Here we go. Um, it's This is a really nice card. I like this a lot. Um, I like this post-rotation with playing the Kim deck off of water. Because you only play, like, ten attacks. So you're almost always going to hit. Uh, it's an extra build. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Build, build. I mean, like, it helps the Kim I mean, deck. The Kim deck the, this could work in good Kim, too. Like, all right, he is good. Yeah, like 
crazy. Is this a staple? I, I think so. Maybe. I think so. This is probably one of those staples for all three symbols. I kind of think it is, too. Build extra. Like, I know terrains are going to be everywhere, and that's going to be, like, the counter to it is just to play another terrain. But <clears throat> I kind of think this might – I'm not 100%, but I'm, like – I'm more than 50% convinced that this might be a staple. Yeah. I would go get them off of those enterprising online websites that have I would it. go to Rochester <laughs> CCG and pre-order like 10 of them. <laughs> Make Sean I, happy. I think, I think Sean's undervaluing this card. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. People it's, okay. Pri- it's okay. The price will raise dramatically. I guarantee it. Because everybody's going to figure out how good this thing is. Sean's right. not going to watch this right away, though. All right, next card. I'm not a buster. Cossack buster, four difficulty, three, plus two high, three high, four, range traversal. Enhance, add one foundation from the top uh, to the top of your deck. The stack gets plus one speed, plus one damage. My favorite card for off of him. I think this card is gloriously good for long attack strings. Um, like, you just play a couple six checks in your deck, um, and you just go, like, move, move, have this be, your, like, your third move, check, put a six on top, and then I'll have to commit one foundation for, like, another four difficulty move after this. Yeah. Um, like, I've play gotta, in, if, if you play them in succession, you just, like, guarantee my checks, getting rid of things you've had, like... Like especially if you have some Fs, like a lot of his cards, like if you have some cards like like form, like forming things, and then you start playing moves, and you're just like, all right, put these on top. You just you can give, you can have a lot of fun with this card. I like I, think, I like the add a foundation on top of your deck cost. I like this card in so many characters that aren't Doctor Cossack. Uh, I think this yeah. is great. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm serious, I feel like this card works against the point of being a five hander. Like if you're a seven hander and you've got a good build, and you're like, all right, let me stack this card. Like you're okay with losing a foundation, but if you're a five hander and this is like, as, as a person who played who's top with Clark a bunch of times and Goro and stuff, like I I don't I don't want to lose my three foundations that maybe I was lucky to build with, or maybe, like, five built after two, you know, two turns. Um, so I, I think this is a great card, and people that aren't Cossack, I love this freaking card, though. This is really good. Yeah, I, mean, I just, I just don't love it in a five-hander. I'm going to love the crap out of this card in Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. They did tell us a lot of characters. There were some characters where the character would be <laughs> eh, and their support would be amazing. I think this is one of those characters. I think yeah. this is a good support bad character. Yep. yep. Moving on. Yep. <laughs> Call set catcher. Uh, <laughs> right as I say, good support. Quick. <laughs> five difficulty two, no block, four mid six. It's a throw. Enhance discard the top card of your deck. This attack may not be blocked by cards with the same type as the discarded card. You got to pitch momentum. Call set up. Uh, no? Discard top card of your deck. The... You're thinking of the call set one. I'm not there yet. Oh, oh, got, gotcha. I'm sorry. My Cossack first enhanced Scarlet Lament, and this attack may only be blocked by Foundation cards. Return this attack to its printed damage, and its damage may not be increased. So this is like, I think, the only throw in the whole deck, in the whole set. Yep. Um, if I send Jasco Games 100 copies of this card, can they just reprint Lunar Catapult instead? <laughs> I... I, 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 this plus a couple other things. I fear for the future of throws. Dark Stalkers better give me some nice throws. So they don't have to be broken. Just proved ourselves wrong that saying he's great support bad character with this card. Yeah, this card's pretty bad. Um, the <laughs> if it, I'm, I'm sorry if if it was a three check, I'd have less problems with it. As a two check, uh, and this I have like a fundamental take on two checks, and especially if it doesn't even have an awesome block or anything. If it's a two check, it better win you the game, and yeah. this does not win you the game. And if you're a two check, and it, or if it doesn't win you the game, it better have some. It doesn't got for Kazex, but not really. Like guys are in and of itself doesn't win you the game, but the three, the, if you have more attacks, if you have three attacks that you're going to play out of progressive after the geyser, it sort of does win you the game. Um, yeah. This doesn't do anything where it's like, all right, here's a two check, but it's, you know, if it was a four mid for 12, I'd consider playing it. It doesn't, I, I just don't see the point of this card. I, and I know that 
fundamentally, there, um, I think in design, there's a theory that throws as a mechanic are too strong. And I get kind of where it's coming from. I do think throws as a mechanic are too strong, where they always do half damage, even if you block. But I think there's enough hate out there now, and they're, start, they're still printing more, that you don't have to just take a big heaping dump on throws. I just Well, I, I, I think it's, this is a stat that throws are not great. Not great to be designed in. That's true. Like, like this, like this is like probably the only card. This is the only throw in the set, technically. And yeah. it's it's. I bet when we get back to a fighting game, like we get the dog stalkers, probably gonna see some throws in that set because well, guys got tossed around on that game. Well, I mean, not only that, I, but I mean, I, I, I saw that. Yeah, I know. This is base Mega Man. <laughs> not a lot of robot masters toss you in base Mega Man. If we were in any of the other Mega Mans, oh, absolutely there would be throws. Because there are a ton of Maverick uh, Maverick Masters that just pick you up and crush you. There yeah. are uh, Reaver Bots that pick you up and crush you from Legends. Mm -hmm. Heck, even Battle Network, they toss you around. <laughs> but, I mean, in base Mega Man, picking you up and tossing you around is practically unheard of. Yeah. So, I mean, this is one of the very few occasions where it works. I mean, unless we had, like, right. what's what would be a good thing? Like, uh, one of those robots. No, it, actually, that's in Mega Man X2. Never mind. <laughs> All right, moving on. I don't need uh, Jasco games. I just need throws that actually do something. I just need base. Just say it. <laughs> Preferably base.exe. I called okay. him bass for years, like a fish. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Cossack Slam, four difficulty Slam. three, plus two mid, four mid three, Desperation two, Slam, Enhanced, Ready One Foundation, this, Ready One Foundation that has not been ready this combat phase. Chivalry? This, this card's pretty good. Oh, well, I, I, I like it in Lilith. <clears throat> I mean... Yeah. I do too. I always look for cards at Lilith. If it shares symbols with her, you're a fanboy. That's why. <laughs> I actually think this is just a solid. It's a solid card. Will it? It it could fit into some decks, but it's going to be very tough to see some play with it, just with the the current card pool. But I, I don't know. I think it's good. It, it's just a free ready, which is can mean a lot in some to win to winning games. It's it's a good chivalry. Um, it's it's yeah, it's a better yeah. well better chivalry because chivalry wasn't bad. Yeah, this I can put, in particular is a better chivalry. I could put this in good mid mature punches. Yeah, yeah. All right. Peace for that deck. Uh, a new ally, two for four, no block. Enhance reveal the top card of your deck. If it has a block, this attack gets minus X damage to a minimum of one. X equals the uh, that blocks modify printed modifier. I gave this a one. It's my first one of the cards that we've reached. I like one one when I if you guys uh, check out our spreadsheet we did. If I gave it a one, that means I don't ever see myself playing it in the deck ever. I think um, I gave this a point five because blocks are starting <laughs> to go down again. I I'm giving it a chance because if if there's enough damage reduction on one symbol, it becomes an issue. Like this is still this is like your twentieth damage reduction card. But if it ever gets to that critical mass of your entire deck is damage reduction, it becomes an issue, and this is damage reduction. But I don't think there's like any other cards. I like that this card. This card's really good with him because your E is not an on your. It's not. It's just a twice per turn. It's not on your turn. So like you can go stack a stack a like stack your check. Like put a four de a four four uh, block modifier on top, reveal it, and you're like, all right, minus four. Like it, it, it's something that's in him. It works. But that's about it. Jesse, you got me to a one point five. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's the one thing I, I re I'm sitting there reading Cossack again. I'm like, what was the one thing about? Him? Oh yeah, you could do his ability to stack checks on your opponent's turn too. You know what those symbols have? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's that little thing. All right, on to, let's slide down to this one, which we pretty much all agree on. Fatherly love. 
Uh, three difficulty five plus three mid. After you block with this card, add it to your staging area committed. Response once per turn. After this foundation is ready due to an effect, gain two life. Um, we already have my. Yeah. Who, who was it that said all of his support was good? I am me. I'm an idiot. I did too. Yeah. Like it's a slide block. Eh, that's about it. Like I don't like he's. But I don't know who I would play this in. I was uh, I guess the thing good about this card is, honestly, I've read the comic. This is where Pharaoh Man uh, starts his lifelong fear of women. <laughs> fear of women? Uh, That's a great card. Because, his, because Cossack has a daughter, the daughter wants to be just like Daddy, so she tends to fiddle with the robot masters. That's... I love that little subplot. <laughs> There's also a great joke where uh, they introduce Quake Woman, and she doesn't understand that how robots and children are made differently, and it's one of those awkward, I don't have a mom, dad has to handle the entire conversation. <laughs> it's like, you're my greatest creation, but I'm human. We'll talk about this later. later. <laughs> um... On the UFS front, um, th that's so weird. Um, <laughs> it's it's Archie Comics. What do you want? If this was a, oh, a two, I'm to out what, if it was a if this two, was a if, two maybe? but you're not you're not play you're not playing this on your turn. This is a no, card. You're I holding guess you're the holding block. this as the block, but man, yeah. that's if it were a odd now. Let's just go to the next card. But yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Let's just roll. Uh, yeah. Siberian Scientist. Three difficulty, five, no block. Response once per turn. After found after this foundation is ready due to an effect, draw a card. Enhance, uh, discard one momentum. Ready this foundation. Play ball committed. It draws you cards on your opponent's yeah. turn. I... Yeah. If you don't have something else to do with your momentum, uh, like it's a very good defensive thing. It's allows you to uh, ready up uh, ready up draw a card like if you're just if you overextend it allows you to untap and just try to get that extra block if you're running the citadel which you probably are it's just a free extra card draw at the end of the turn yeah I I don't think it's great uh, at three five the the three the three diff is really what bugs me the most the, the no black hurts because I'm I, I like having blocks too occasionally, yeah. but that th the three diff is really a big deal. And and when you're building decks, it, it's when you any deck you build, you don't want to be loaded up on three diff foundations unless you have a way to cheat it, Garrett. Um, and you're just dropping three diffs. It, it's um, it, but as a whole, like that's what if this was a two diff, I'd have way less problems with it. I um, like as a I'm three diff, I'd have a very hard time with it. I'm not saying run four, man. I'm saying like oh, run no, no, four. not at all. Like I'd run like one, yeah, like, yeah, I, I, one or two. I, I, it'd be like the, one of those random. If you're gonna run it, you're gonna do it. It's not something you're gonna run four of. Like, um, and on those symbols with it shares symbols with like out of control giant and stuff. You're not gonna convince me to ever play like out of control this over out of control giant. Like tribal I'll protector put, shares I would two symbols with that with tribal. Oh god, yeah. See, I didn't look at other cards when I, I looked at this. I didn't see any other three diffs there were. I just look at it from the, the way I was trying to approach it. I was just looking at it like, okay, are any of these cards going to usurp cards that are already in my deck? And mm -hmm. if if I have tried, like, if I'm trying to figure out, okay, I've got room maybe like six three diffs, um, and three or four of them are tribal protector, am I bumping any tribal protectors out for this? And there's no way. And that's kind of how I try to approach it when I look at, you know, how does a card stack up? Um, and that's maybe not totally fair because some decks do different things. Um, mm -hmm. so it's It's... Yeah, it, um, it's good in him. Yep. It's something. <laughs> it, yeah. It's there. Uh, trusted colleagues, two for five, plus three high. Enhance, commit, discard momentum. Your next attack this turn gets mi gets minus three difficulty. Probably oh, a better way to use card. This yeah. is a good card. Yeah. Probably a better way to use your momentum. Yeah, this this is this is a common. <laughs> That's all. I, I'm happy this card's a common. Like this card could easily be a rare. It like shares symbols with uh, second chance. That's uh, that's a thing. Um, so you're gonna have momentum, and then you go all right, e commit, 
my next monster, crazy, huge, expensive attack costs three less. Um, so I, I'm cool with that too, as long as yeah. you have the momentum to support I'm it. Test, I, I'm testing this in my, my water ride and build, and it's just like you get to that, like you get to play beyond the fourth move, which is like certain decks that you like, you want to get like beyond a certain move, it gets you that stretch. Um, the reason why I think this exists at common uh, is because they said, like uh, Tim said, they wanted cards at common that use your momentum and draft. Yeah. Um, so this is a solid draft pick, by the way. We should talk about drafting one day. Maybe when I actually get to draft it in a couple weeks. All right. Next up, another master. So give us one second. We'll switch to the next master. Ooh. Mark the time. Mark the break. Was it Crash Man, I think? I kind of want Mick Foley's entrance theme music every time I see him. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. <sighs> All right, Crash Man, 629, Earth, Fire, Water. Um, first form, choose a block zone. Uh, blocks with chosen zone get plus two to the modifiers for the rest of the turn. Enhance, make a check of four greater. Your attack is partially blocked, it gets plus four damage. So, aggro. Let's aggro that aggro on some aggro. This guy has 29 health and is a six hand size. This like, is Mr. Rugi's long lost brother. Yeah. Can I make a weird prediction? Like, I gave him a three and a half, and I think he's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. um, maybe he actually is the, like, mediocre to bad character with amazing support character. Like, but, like, because, like, Cossack, we got we had a couple of really nice cards, and we were like, okay, the rest of these suck. I don't know if he has any really like bad support. It's all pretty good. Like there's, yeah. um, I, I don't. I think his character's pretty cool. I think it's okay. Um, I think his, oh man, I think some of his support is amazing. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know if he himself is particularly amazing. I think he's one of those. Depending on where the meta falls, uh, he might be able to take advantage of things. Now I've actually looked. I've actually went and did the numbers on UFS Ultra after I filtered out everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there are still over 200 mid blocks. There's a hundred and twenty, hundred and seventeen high blocks. But even with the Mega Man set included, there are still only 61 low blocks. Jesus. So in the whole game, after rotation, well, I am not counting Dark Stalkers, but with everything rotated out. Just pure standard from King of Fighters up through this Mega Man. This is still a valid lows only deck. Okay. Yeah. I feel a little more comfortable about Snake Man now. <laughs> now again, please keep in mind I did say I didn't cannot factor Dark Stalkers in. So that may raise the number, but still we're only looking at sixty one low blocks for the entire rotated card pool. I got some number crunching to do when we're done with us. I actually had to do this because one of my friends, one of my guys in my playgroup wanted Crash Man off loads. It's like, let me look and see how valid this actually is. The number may be a little off, but it's in that ballpark of it's in the oh. 60s. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, let's roll on. Okay, we have Blasting Through. Uh, three difficulty, four. Uh, res no block. Response, your turn only. Uh, discard one momentum. After your unblocked face up attack resolves, you may attempt to play it again from your card pool. Uh, response before your attack's block step, return it to its printed damage and draw a card. I, I, I like I, this as an anti. It's an anti giant. <laughs> the 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 one Raiden Foundation. It's like that puts your moves to zero. You're just like, eh, we're back to printed. Good luck. And they get a card. Yeah. But I, I I like this card. I don't I, I, I just don't know it how you can much you can abuse it. Do you guys remember That's that card feel. drinking that came out in uh really Yeah, it was kinda of like a, how drinking it, was supposed to work. It's it a seems. lot like drinking. Yeah, it, it's a it's a lot like drinking. Um play the card twice, so, you know, it's so, um, so you go drinking whenever you open this card in a pack? Oh, I, I think so. I think you go get yourself a six for Achilles and you call it a day. 
Um, it, it's um, it's a pretty good card. I don't think it's, I don't think it's amazing, but I I, I think it's solid. I don't. Um, I wish it had something like either a five check or a block or something like that. It, it's it's very hard to. Um, maybe I'm just too rigid and what. The I fact that this card stays like. in your card pool is the biggest thing, the biggest thing about it to me. Like you can't like pick yeah. up an unblocked combo attack and redo the combo yep. unless you're playing. Oh, you could be playing housekeeper and you can get it cleared off of water. But that's that's you're you're going in a different direction. But, the, but by the time you get to housekeeper, it wouldn't it already have been like you'd already resolved the one attack too. Like, well, so you've already you played it, but you can housekeeper to clear the. Oh, Is it the, housekeeper an F? Oh, housekeeper's yeah, an F. Housekeeper's yeah, an F. I thought it was an E. Uh-uh. Yeah, my fault. I, I don't know. I feel like there are a couple other blue cards that are a lot stronger in this set. I do too. There's a, I've, we've had some conversations tonight where I felt like moving my rating that I made initially before our conversation up to like, you know, up of half a point or a point. This actually makes me want to move it down a half a point or a point. <laughs> like, uh, like this will, the, some people, I bet you somebody will want to play this and it'll see, it'll happen, but it'll, it'll, they'll realize as they play it more, they're just like, this card's not as strong as you think it is. I don't know. Re- replay my danger zones just so I can go danger zone. That, that's a good. That's a good enough reason. <sighs> okay. Should we move on. Yeah. We'll move on. Sure. My yeah, favorite cool. card. Crash bomber. Uh, four difficulty, three plus two mid, three hot five range. If this attack is partially blocked, out your hand after it resolves. Amazing card is amazing. This is my first five so far. Yeah, this was a five for me too. This was pretty close. Like I'm, Pardon. I'm still in the. There are so many high blocks in the game. This card may not. Be, like this, this is definitely <laughs> getting blocked. But this is one of those cards that like you have to block this. <laughs> you have to par- completely block it to get to, or you're screwed. I like it as a plus one mid block. So it goes before my head crush perfectly. Plus two. Plus, Plus two men. Plus two. okay. Yeah. It's still it goes right before my head crush. Yeah. That's what it does. And it's, if they I'm sorry, Jesse. Oh uh, no. It's just one of those cards where it's like it's either you're taking five or you're fully blocking it, but if you part you can't partially block this card. You can't let them pick it up. I think that's no. like unless you have a way to lock that card to the board. And partially block it, like off, like with uh, orders. You you can't let this card. You can't let this card get picked up. This is a super good card. Um, I I think it's particularly better in Crashman than anyone else. Um, it's it, it's really really good. It, if you can lead off with like uh, if you lead off with like Danger Zone or something, like that, which we'll talk about. Um, you're, you're forcing them to block a plus four modifier, and the, it's going to be very hard to full block this card. So I have a hunch that a lot of people are going to be just eating five. So, you know, yeah. I, I, I really like this one a lot. Like My basic rule of thumb, if it's damage is higher than its difficulty and it's a three, three check, um, then it is a very solid move. Yup. All right. Next. We got Crash Slam, uh, four difficulty three, plus two low, three low three, slam stun one, enhance commit one foundation, this attack may only be blocked by mid blocks. So with him, seven damage. Um, yeah, if, unless they don't block. <laughs> like, it's either you don't block and take three, or they block, they partially block, and they take four. That's what it, that's what it means. Yarp. It's kind of a throw. Kinda. Yeah. It's a too low block, too. Yeah. Like. It's a slam. It is a slam, and it's a super good one. Um, I think this card, I don't know if it's as good as, like, when we were talking about air slam and things like that. Um, it's very good, though. If you have any kind of onboard damage pump, this is the best throw that's not a throw in the game. It, it's not... Um, it essentially works like a throw. It forces them to have to half block uh, half block the attack. Um, I don't know if this is... 
the three base damage kind of scares me a little bit on it. But if you can put some stank on it, if you're a character that has some kind of built-in damage pump, or if you have some stuff on your in your board that's gonna, you know, in your your foundation base, or whatever, that's gonna give you some some power on this. This is a really awesome card. Um, the only the only drawback really is the three base damage. It's just that's very low damage for four diff attack. Mm-hmm. That would be all. That's like literally all the complaints I have, though. It's a really good card. You can't complain about it because it has slam on it. Oh, there's some slams I hate. We'll get to a couple of those, but uh, this slam I do not hate. Before the end of the night, I think you'll find some love for all the slams. Uh, it's that's a tall order, man. Uh, we, have, the, I don't, we, have, we have some good arguments actually for a lot of the slams. He, the, I mean, there might be one I'm forgetting. We'll I don't see. think there's any. I don't think there's any particularly horrible slams. Um. I'm just trying to go off the top of my head. I don't think there's any particularly horrible ones, um, but the one the one drawback because I've ha- I've actually I've been asked a few times. People have asked me, "Are you going to make a slam deck?" And it's like most of the slams are relegated to like there's a couple across each symbol, so like maybe two, you know, one or two slams on a symbol, and then most of the slams as a whole. And I don't know if this is intentional or not. They're not kill conditions. Um, no, they slams, they're, they're like support attacks. They're like supports to a um, they're support attacks to a bigger goal. And yeah. um, so, like, air, you know, air slam and stuff, like, even if you pump it, we're talking, like, five or six damage. Um, crash slam is a base three damage. Um, the ones we're all getting to are, like, three and four damage, generally. So they're not really built as kill conditions. You could make so a decent water slam there. deck. You could, but I, the, my, I would use the slams to support something bigger. Sure, new to my or something. Yeah. Double Gemini slam? <laughs> Gemini slam, Gemini beams, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, the... Danger zone, Matt. Don't start. <laughs> it's a preemptive shush. Uh, six difficulty, three plus one high, four low, seven. Uh, while this card is in your card pool, your opponent's high block modifiers get plus two. Uh, response: discard one attack. After your opponent plays a card as a block against this attack, change its own to mid. <laughs> this card is just busted. <laughs> Every time I, the longer I stare at it, it's just like, um, yeah, you you can't, don't you can't block this card safely. It definitely brings your opponent into a zone of danger. Yeah. Whenever you, um. I love what the card is watch? <laughs> I I love this card because uh besides its name. Uh the first deck I played outside of a void deck in this game was uh Tira. And this is very reminiscent of Tira. So that alone will probably sell me on playing this with Crash Man. Cause you could set it to a high and just make it disgusting for them to block. Or yeah, you set it to high. I mean, you get you get this card. You're taking seven, or you're taking six. Like that's the that's what that discard's there for. Like set it to a mid. You're like, oh, you block with a low, right? Make it a mid, or you block with a mid. And now that you're you're either like you're taking the bonus somewhere. Mm-hmm. Card's super good. Um, I I don't know if um. It's not quite. This is. I was really picky about what I gave fives to when I was doing my list, um, and this got a four and a half as did Crash Slam. Um, I think they're both amazing cards. I think this is really good. I think Crash Man doing like this is really basic and it kind of. So I don't think I'm like spoiling tech or anything. Um, but to do like just really big time highs, go like you know uh, water highs or like How Rayo can stuff like that, and play like Danger Zone, How Rayo can Shiranui no Mai and crash bomber and just go man mode and just play all these highs um crash slam almost works against him uh, it, it's it it's part of you're just playing crash man um i i kind of like i i like this with a bunch of just big mean high attacks and just see where it yeah. takes you um I, I i think this is a really good card and uh i i think it's going to get played in a not even just in him, but I think in decks that are based around high attacks, people are going to run it just for basically like two plus two speed, essentially to all your attacks. Sasquatch will definitely like this card. Oh god, yeah, yeah. It's a six high. It's a six high for eight in Sasquatch. It's like, um, it's a six low nine. Sorry, six low for it's yeah. Even, low for even worse. Even yeah. worse. 
Oh god. The giggler is gonna love that. Yeah. Don't remind me. All right, onto the lovely foundation set. Delay detonation. Two difficulty four plus three mid. Can't destroy. Your next earth attack this turn gets plus two damage. Your next fire attack this turn gets plus two damage. Only put, only one copy of this ability may be played per hand step. I'll be blasting through every once in a while. So plus four damage on your earth fire attacks. Um, are you playing Goro support? Is it Hoitzo support? Um, who else has earth fire? You, you can't. Who, who else? I'm uh, Crash Man. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that the character that we're doing the support for. Yeah. Um, it's it's plus four damage on that. Um, so I I think this is pretty good. It, the the literally the only drawback I have at all is the four the four check. But like, if you're playing enough attacks that support, you know, if you have enough earth fire stuff that you're like, okay, I'm gonna run, you know. A bunch of earth fire attacks. If you're, I don't know, Tenchi Gaishi or whatever the hell you're running, um, mm -hmm. it's that's four damage. That says E destroy four damage. How many? You know, there's not many cards that aren't called broken ass morning lost uh, that are like E destroy give your attack four or more damage. Basically, I mean, it's pretty good. It's also it's all the Proto Man support. Yeah, pro, I was about to say there's Proto Man, there's Cole Forty Five. Oh, that's True. that's um that's a flash card. But it, no, you give your no, you next lead into it. Oh, it's your next attack. Never mind. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm misreading this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, you lead uh, in with bad. it. Yeah. Um, I don't like the way because the way it's worded, you very obviously tell your opponent, "Hey, I'm throwing another move." Uh, other than that, I I liken it to a more balanced morning the lost. Um, that you have to actually dedicate in order to get to a decent amount of damage bump. It also doesn't draw you a card. And it's mm. also too difficult. But it has the block. The block. It has yeah. that or more in the lost. True. World's most one sided card fist fights caught on tape. Morning <laughs> lost against delayed detonation. Um, it's uh, man. It, it's I um yeah, play water and play both of them. Um I oh. Just play water and attack with Crash Man support. Um, it's it's a, if you're playing the right support, the, especially the right attack lineup, all that stuff for it, I think it's a super good card. Mm -hmm. right? But it's got to be a very specific set of attacks to kind of back it. Mm -hmm. We'll see if maybe even uh, Dark Soccer's gives us another Earthfire character. That would be sweet. True. Yep. But I'm still looking for some uh, Air Order characters, as I'm sure <laughs> someone else in this video might be. Yep. And our lone viewer is my dear, dear friend that's in Nigeria right now. Hi, Debo. <laughs> All right. I have known him for a very long time. Hello. All right. All right, Demolitions Expert. Uh, one six, no block. After this stack is partially blocked, it gets plus one damage. Looks good to me. Solid spam. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I actually would spam. play it. If I was playing any of those symbols, I would play four of this card. It doesn't commit for its damage bonus. It, it just You just put the fear of God of them partially blocking Wait, your attacks. Jesse, you're not playing this in Earth Raiden? Oh, I will play this in our frame. Right on. <laughs> um, it, it's a it's a really good card. It, it's I I'm a little leery about the non-block, but as a, but other than that, like I don't really have a lot of bad stuff to say. It doesn't commit. It doesn't. Um, it's there's gonna be some weird math stuff to it where like it may or may not even matter depending mm -hmm. on what your attack lineup is and what's you know what's being blocked. But yeah. if if you can make it matter, like if it's attacks where um, oh god, don't make me do math right now. Uh, if my buddy Marcus is here with me, um, we're we're doing. He's helped me with the math. All right. So if it's, um, it has to be something that's like an odd. Uh, if it's if it's you need to get it to odd damage that the like it's if it's a four damage attack, um, if you can make it five, then the half block is three instead of two, um, yeah. and that's where this card's going to be more relevant. Um, it's it's so random, but like I, that damage pump could be really important in certain games, especially if you're at one. Um, I may or may not have lost a uh, 
pick up test game because of this card, uh, that one damage being the difference between a half block killing me and not killing me. Um, mm -hmm. Which means I totally lost. Thanks, to, thanks, guys. Um, but this card is—it's it, pretty good. It's—it's it's a little bit mathy, but it's a really good card. Yeah. It's a six check that I can put on top with Cossack Buster too. Yeah. It, these are the things I look for. All right. Next card. It's solid. Uh, it is in the. Improvises. Okay, brainstorm. Improved design. Uh, two for four, no block. Enhanced discard one card. Your unblocked face up attacks get plus one damage for the rest of this turn. Response destroy after you check an attack, add it to your hand. That's crazy good. Like, holy crap. Yeah. Like, it, like if, you're on kill, if you're on kill turn with this card, you, you're, you're going to be pitching your junk to this card. Like, I, I would never activate this more than maybe twice in a kill turn unless I had some good card advantage to be able to do it more. But, like, if you activate this twice and you get four attacks off, like, this can this can just push lethal through for you. Um, I this would... is also why I believe Hoyt still is staying banned. Yeah. That's a thing. Um, I was I was super torn on this card, and, and I don't know if it's... I don't know if this card in particular is. A, I, I'm a little scared, and this is where it's on. This is like me just sounding like rigid, nitpicky guy who builds a specific type of deck. But I'm afraid of the two four non block, and it's because it, for it to be a two four non block, I, it has to be a game winner. And I don't know if it's like a, a, the 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 discard one card face of attacks get one damage is cool. Um, after you check an attack, add it to your hand is cool. But I don't know if it's the two four I, and. I, I, I'm just like really, I, and I'm probably underrating the card. Um, it's probably better than I'm expecting, and I'm just like overthinking this card. Um, but it, it's, I just, I'm leery about those kind of numbers. That's like my only concern. I think the abilities are both solid. I'm just leery about two four non block. Yeah, like if you if it's your only like eh uh, stat card like that, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Which looking at my Gemini Man list next week here, that is the only eh stats cards. Do we lose Joe? No. Oh, okay. All right. I was gonna say because I, I, yeah, it's. I'm probably just underrating the card. I'm gonna mess yeah. with it when it really comes out, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Next card. I'll beat you up with it. Why did somebody say next card? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, short fuse two dot. Uh, one difficulty five plus three high response flip after your opponent partially blocks and attacks seal their block. Amazing yeah. card. Yeah. It slices. Amazing. It slices. It dices. It dunks those Templars. Um, yeah. Just looking at our rankings, this is my first five uh, five out of five card. Um, it, it's in looking at everyone else's rankings. Um, looks like we're pretty <laughs> much in agreement that this card's amazing. Um, not everyone gave it a five, but we're all pretty close and. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I, okay, I'm just going to spoiler alert here. When I was doing my pre-orders for the new set, I pre-ordered two singles, two different singles, and this was one of the two, um, along with my boxes. So this is, um, this is an amazing card. I think it's going to be a three to four of staple in most decks that can run it. Um, mm -hmm. there are, like, no answers to, there's no answers to Breaker, I don't think, and, um, except for like Kopu can on specific things and like this card. And this is the like answer the break, to all your of breaker, those. Your breaker, your breaker. There's only there's two breaker answers right now, and they're both in this set. Like there's this card and there's the Wily card. Yeah, and Kopu can. I mean, like yeah, this. Kopu, there's yeah. so there's so few things that like to me, and this is like me nitpicking. This card should not be a rare. Um, this card, I think, is too important to decks. I think it's going to be too much of a staple. This should be a common or an uncommon because I, 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 I think it's, I think it's a, a, a three plus copy in every deck with the symbols. It's a one five spam with a high block. Mm -hmm. I, there's no, I, I think it's, it's, um, and Marcus next, we just made a good point. It's, it's comparable to like almost like a together again foundation where it's just like you're going to run it if you have the symbols. You're running this card. And it's, I think it's an amazing staple, and I hate that it's a rare when it's a foundation especially. 
Got to make this money somewhere. I know, but that's like that bums me out a little bit on the on this front. Yeah. Um, I I mean I it's there, well, the there's a reason I pre-ordered a play set of it on top of boxes that I haven't gotten yet. So question: mm -hmm. Was the other card you pre-ordered DLN? No. Okay. Because like pre-orders on that disappeared, and I'm like, we'll talk about the one I, the other one because I, I pre-ordered two singles. So we'll talk. I'll talk about the other one when we get to it because there's two that <laughs> right. I think are like I have to have yeah. and a bunch of. I, I pre-ordered one. I pre-ordered one card, and that was my that was my only choice. So I, I needed that card. Yeah, this card's super good. Um, it's going to be a staple. I don't see how people don't run it at all. Um, it, it's. I mean, how else you just go? All right, let's erase the breaker. Let's erase Templar. Let's erase you know a bunch of different things. I I think that card's really good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doesn't erase statics though. No. So peaceful messenger still wins, but everything else loses. Leaf shield it also wins. Uh, leaf shield. That card. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's a super good card. Buy it from Rochester CCG. All right. <laughs> All right. We three have down, to, four to go. Okay, we're done, Crash Man. All right. Can I can I talk about this man next? I'll read his cards. Mega Man. <laughs> Are we on Gemini Man? Who are we on? No, we suddenly lost Gemini Man just because of you. Ooh. I mean, I'll talk about Mega Man too. I'll do both. Yeah, we're going with Gemini Man. Take it away. All right, Gemini Man. He's a seven nineteen air evil water. After you block with a card named Gemini Man, add it to your staging area and draw a card. Uh, e, your attack gets plus one speed. Your attack gets plus one damage and plus one speed for each character card in your staging area. He's over 9,000. No, no, he's over 8,000, and he's a three check. Three diff. Three diff, yes. That, that's pretty important. Very important. Yeah, this man's gonna rule, this man's gonna rule the roost for at, at a point, I feel it. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna he's, be that... He has that feeling to me. He's going to be meta defining. I think he's one of there's a handful of characters. I, I that like if I had to do a tier, he's in the top tier. I don't think he's alone in that top tier. I think there's a few other characters yeah. on par with him, but it's not many. Um, I yeah. I think he's really good. Um, I I think it's frightening that he shares symbols with Templar, and um, <laughs> I I think it's I I think. I think the scariest thing about him, and I'll spoil my own tech because I think it's I think it's the way to approach him. I, I've tried him with his own stuff and with Proto Man stuff. He does Proto Man better than Proto Man does, and I think with the Proto Man stuff, he's better than it's better than his own stuff. Um, so if you guys are looking to build him, try him off air with uh, with not his stuff and play Proto Man stuff and Air Slam, and uh, tell me that his stuff is better than than that <laughs> stuff because it's not. Um, the it, the air build of him is really stupid. I I think this character should have been looked at a little further because the plus two speed, plus one damage, and all your attacks without having to say, to stack a character is really stupid. Um, I think his static is dumb. I, I this guy's absolutely nuts. I I it, I'm sure that there's a build that I don't even see yet, and there's probably stuff people can prove me That's, wrong. But he's the only character. He is actually the only character. I, I would play Air Tiki in if I was gonna main deck that card because it's Makes plus sense. two speed. You just you both those pluses go to plus two. In the difference too, yeah. this is what sets him apart from like some of the other characters where like you have to you, know, you have to rush him down and beat him in two three turns. If you stack three or four characters, it does, you're gonna win in the late game because all your stuff is like you know what five speed four damage if you stack yeah. a, a set. Like you can win in the late game if you feel like it. You can win in the early game if you feel like it. Um, I, I think Gemini Man's absolutely crazy. Um, I I think he's someone's going to build some build with him and just wreck a major or wreck a PTC or something with him, and I think it's a matter of time. Yeah, yep. Air is definitely a very solid build because you can do Gemini Beam followed up by two slams that draw you cards, one of them that clears themselves. Um, I think there's also a very solid water build you can play where you just play statistically good moves... And you just make... Alright. Let's go Let's go to the next card. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Sorry. Me either. Alright. Okay. Moon dance. Go for it. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Okay. No, I'm not supporting so, that. It's a 1-5 plus 2 high block. Um, I should probably lock it so I can read the card. 
Uh, while this card's in your staging area, all attacks get plus one, minus one speed. Uh, E-commit, add one character card from your staging area to your hand. And if you want to play that long control game where you keep on picking up Gemini Mans and blocking with them and putting them back down, it's a thing. Mm-hmm. If, uh, if it it was, I, it's it's something. I I don't think it's amazing. I I, I don't I don't think it's bad. I I hate that you sort of penalize yourself by running it. Um, all attacks get minus one speed. Like I don't. Just give me the speed, and I'll not. I'll go play better assets. I, you got nailed it. You got lion stance. I I don't know. I I don't yeah. love that one. Yeah. It's eh. It's a give or take. It's just one bad card. What, this one, Moonbase? Yeah. Yeah. Being able to recycle blocks is bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Double Gemini Slam. Five difficulty, three check, plus zero low block, four mid for five, slam. Uh, E, discard the top ten cards of your deck. And E, if there are two or more character cards you stage area, this attack gets multiple one. I see two purposes for this card. It's a multiple in Gemini Man and some other stacking My. character maybe someday. My <laughs> until she leaves. Um, and if you want to do something cute with Etincellas, uh, I can fill up your yard. And that's deep numbers. So it's one of those sixty-one low blocks. That's, that's a that's plus zero low. That that's very important, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good? Yeah. yeah. We lose Mark? Mark. I'm still here. I just didn't have much to say on that one. We're good. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's... That's, this is getting back to kind of my rant earlier where I think you don't play him with his stuff and I think you do other people's stuff. I just... Like, I, I, I don't... I don't know. It's not bad. It's... Yeah. I don't... I, I like the zero low block more than I like the rest of the guard. No, yeah. and Jesse, what you saw was a pop up. I'm dealing with some of those in the background. Can't see oh, it. Yeah, I just see. Uh, I, I'm not seeing any. I'm winging it from uh, UFS Ultra right now, so we got mm-hmm. it though. All right. So thankfully, we're not. This will be recorded, so I can edit whatever. I have no idea what you even saw, so I'll go. Through. I, I saw a very odd pop up. I'm like, what, what was that? <laughs> All right. Gemini Beam. Five difficulty, two check, three high for seven, no block, ranged. Combo slam. So if you put slam in front of this card, just put him onto the table. That also counts. <laughs> um, e, your next two checks to play slam attacks this turn get plus two. Uh, combo E, discard momentum. Choose one character card in your discard pile with the same name as your starting character. Add that character to your staging area. The combo E is neat, and it helps if you're going for like that long game strategy or if you just happen to survive into a long game with this. The first D, I think, is crazy good with Air Slam and uh, Shield Ram when we get the Proto Man. Like, they're both two things. You just you auto-pass them, and they draw you cards, and then Gemini Man pumps them up. Like, I think yeah. that's going to be a main core component. I agree. Um, I, I think... There's a couple of approaches you can take. I mean, you can look at this as um, it doesn't have... It, it depends on the rest of your lineup, I guess. You can go with a non-twos build and just go with threes and play it like a traditional, like a proto-man deck. Mm-hmm. Um, you can play it like this and just go, all right, I'm going to pass all these slam attacks. Um, it really helps at this card's range, though, because that's just perfect for shield ram. Yes. Um, and we'll talk more about shield ram later, but this uh, this particular card's really good. I, I wish it had a block. It into... it. It in and of itself is not a kill, but the next two checks getting plus two for slam attacks can be if you can, if you have the if you have the crazy hand that can keep passing the, uh, yeah, if you have enough slams to, to keep going. Um, I I think it's pretty good. I I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's pretty good. I was also pretty hype over this card before actually seeing what Ominous Whistle does, so I haven't thought really hard about uh, putting Ominous Whistle in instead and just having that be your card draw and uh, making your checks easier and whatnot. Mm. All right. Um, maybe running both. Play dangerously. Moving on? Yep. Gemini Slam. 
five three plus two high block four high for five. Yet another slam. Um, e the stack is plus one speed for each character card in both staging areas. It's like a sort of reverse of zap. It's already got the decent amount of damage, and it's got a uh, speed. It adds for speed in characters instead. I like it for draft. That's about it. Card's super good. Um, I think it's great numbers. Um, I think in a vacuum, this is his best attack. Um, it's going to be... Plus. So this is coming in. This is going to be like 8 high for 6 if, with no character stack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for five, I, I think that's really good. Um, I I can't hate it all. It's it basically is like zap. Um, it's it's zap. It's a, it that's the best comp for it. Um, good card. I I think it's really solid, and I think it's going to see some play. Yep. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Yep. Uh, narcissist, two five no low block. F destroy. Add one character card from your discard pile to the top of your deck. Or E destroy, add a character from your discard pile to your hand. This is only good with him. It either helps you for stacking to pass your like fifth or sixth attack, make it a bit easier. Or or allows you to just set up pick up a block and then fuse right away. Yeah. Like, it's good it's, for setting up. It's four of stapling him. Um, I don't know if it's the same for everyone else. Um, that's uh, so I was probably a little too too nice in giving it a five star because it doesn't like it. It's only good in him, but in him it's a five star. So I guess that would be my approach to it. Um, it there's it, you you run four of it in him, and you will always have a character block when you need it. And obviously with him, all you do is you just block well and then backswing like a mother effort and just smash. It, it, it's um, it's a super important card for him. Yeah. And I, I think if you're building him, run four of it, and you won't regret it. It's, yeah, it's, it's a super good card. It's one of those cogs that I think is going to make him very, very consistent. The hunt is on. If you guys were Machima fans back in the day, it's it's very, it's very a little more costly because you have to destroy it. Um, but um, I, I do think it's very, very much account for the hunt is on. Where it's it's gonna be your uh, your way to guarantee that you have a character card when you need it. Yep. Next card. Carlos was watching, and then he went away. <laughs> Poor guy. Theophobia. See, this is why I want to do this because I can actually pronounce it. Uh, because I have this. <laughs> two uh, two difficulty five check plus three low block. E flip. If this attack is blocked, it deals no damage. Hey, yay. Card they could have, if they really want to do this card, could have been a rare, and I'm very happy this is a common. Yeah. This, this is, is a trade user. Both Snake 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 being common. Matt, do you just forfeit? What? Does this mean if I play Snake Man against you, do you just forfeit? No, I've gotten over my fear of images of snakes. It's if you put an actual snake in front of me. So we played Jake the Snake Roberts and Tops. Got it. <laughs> uh, guys, this is a four of staple. Um, yeah. If you have yeah. the symbols, it's four of staple mandatory. I, I don't play three. I don't play two. This is four of staple. I don't care. If you have the symbols, you're playing it. Um, it doesn't commit. It doesn't. It, it flips. Um, it, it's super crazy good. I, it's, I have, I'm like, my worst nightmare would be this and short fuse both being rares because I'd be broke trying to, yeah pre-order to cover how many I'm going to need for decks. Um, this is a super good card. Four of, put it in all your decks, four of, and you won't regret it. It's really, really good. This yep. is a trade-off. This is common, so that way short fuse can be rare. Yep. <laughs> Make them both uncommon, and I'd be the happiest. Okay, moving on. Yep. Strength of Pollux. Uh, three difficulty, five check, plus three mid-block. E commit, discard of momentum, your tech gets plus four damage. R commit. After you make a check, it gets plus one for each character card in your staging area. Yay! Damage pump. Maybe evil throws can do something. Maybe. Um, I like this in longer game Gemini Man. Um, like I was saying, like you can you can really play Gemini Man either really fast or if it slows down, you still can get through the walls later on. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to either help you make like an amazing check, like just plus three or plus four to your check. Um, anytime it says your attack gets four damage and it doesn't involve like destroying a bunch of stuff, 
even then it was cool with like you know determined and stuff like that back in the day. Um, this is still a good. Anytime it says your attack gets four damage, that's always cool. So um, this this card's really good. I I, I don't know if it's going to be like four of because of the three diff on it. But other than that, I think it's a great card. If it was a two diff, it'd be busted. Um, I think it's a three diff. It's just really good. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna try it in Evil Jack. That's I don't hate I'm that at all. I think like an Evil Throw deck or something like that would be really good. Yep. I'm good. hoping. I have hopes out of Darkstalkers. We'll we'll see if they come true in a few months. <laughs> they more than like will. There's a lot of command grabs in Darkstalkers. Okay. Let's see if Tim Tim embraces that though. Mm -hmm. uh, Wisdom of Castor, uh, two difficulty, four check, plus three mid, unique. Uh, e commit. This attack gets minus one damage and minus two speed for each character card in your staging area. I like solidly, this card. Yeah, it's like solidly decent uh, speed reduction in other characters and insane speed reduction in him. I've yep. tried this actually in him um, in some testing, and, and I think it's. It, I liked it more on paper than I did in execution. I, I think it's solid. Um, it's better in a longer game build or slower build where um, you're going to be stacking more characters. If you just have the one character, it's not quite so sexy. I mean, minus one damage, minus two speed isn't bad, um, but it's it's unique. It's a two four, um, so there's little things that kind of hamper it. Um, in a longer game, though, if you could, if you get two or three out there where it's you know. Minus four speed, minus two damage, or my, you know, whatever. It gets really, it, it builds really fast. It, it snowballs really hard. So, um, this card in a longer game is is really particularly nice. I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, solid card is solid. Yep. All right. I did my I did my favorite character. Well, he's my most hyped character. He's not my favorite character of the set. Mm hmm. Man, my actual favorite character is the next one. I like Wiley because he looks like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen pictures of your dad, and I'm like, yeah, I, I do agree with you. It's the it's all about the mustache. My dad's got one of those '80s Hulk Hogan mustaches, so it's it works with Wiley. He's got one of those big '80s mustaches too. All right, <laughs> Magnet Man, seven twenty. All chaos and order. Enhance with a check of four or greater. Your attack gets plus one damage for each unique attack zone printed on cards in your card pool. Response, if after your attack is completely blocked, your opponent commits one foundation. Um, this guy got better the more cards that got revealed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is my hopes and dreams of making Hurricane Upper a busted card. And then they gave it Hurricane Upper more friends uh, with one of Ringman's attacks. Um, he's really good at abusing multiples. Um, I haven't really looked at a Chaos build for him yet. Um, I think just playing Order off of him might be a thing to try and make take more use of his R. Just playing a bunch of stun with the R and just going all over the place with your attack zones. Mm -hmm. Um... I think he's a really nice all character with multiples, and that's I, what I'm probably gonna be doing. Maybe I have, and, and I'm once again full full disclosure. Um, I I haven't tested this guy a whole lot. Uh, I just don't see it. Like I don't. Um, there's just something I'm missing. Like it, it's. Right. Let me write down to you my basic plan. Right, when I want to I want to hear the master plan here because I I just on paper I gave him two and a half. I I, I think it's not horrible, because his pump is always going to be like E4 plus your tech gets at least one damage, but I just don't think like, I, I just don't see it. I, I, maybe I'm missing like, something. You play a low, like you play Power Wave. Yeah. It's so a three low, six damage. Mm -hmm. Then you go into a random high like Cossack Buster. Give it plus two damage. Stack your check maybe if you're afraid of failing for some reason. Sure. Um, And then you go Hurricane Upper and multiple it out. Um, that's 18... With giving them plus three each, that's 18 damage on off of one card on three attacks. Right. The only the only question I would have <clears throat> is, for that to work, you do have to... A, a couple things. You, if Chaos might be the better symbol for this, and this is why Chaos is worth a look. Um, mm -hmm. it, you have to have momentum to make sure you pass all those those, uh, those bad boys up there, but 
Um, All is the best momentum generation in the game right now. Uh, Skullman is going to change that game, but the um, it's, we actually uh, did the, we actually redid it. It's still it's still all there's all um, there's some good stuff out there. I I'm just a little leery that it might be a little too much. Like maybe I have to. It, it helps that he's a seven hander. If he was a six hander, I'd say he's unplayable. Um, as a seven hander, you have a better chance of drawing into three attacks from different zones to make your make like a long chain of three different zones work out. Um, mm -hmm. To do three different zones in a deck though means that in sixteen to eighteen attacks. You have to find, like, do I go 6-6-6 six, six, and six to make sure that I have the right ratio? or Like, you have to sort of make it balance, and I and it's it's hard to build and hard to, to make sure that you have the right hand necessary to make sure that everything's plus three, you know? Um, I, I think I'll he's solid, but I, it's, I'll show you my list later. I, I'm, I appreciate I've, that, actually, yeah. I, I've <laughs> been working on him since they spoiled him a few months ago. That's your boy, though. Yeah, give him, a, give him some time. Um, so there will be an article about him. I'll talk about him a lot more, so that way we can keep it going. But sure. yeah. he's definitely, I think, an underdog compared to like Gemini Man. Um, but we'll see when I actually get to play with him. All right. First off, we got Polar Warp. Too high. Uh, two difficulty five. Too high. Uh, response, remove from the game after your non-throw attack deals damage. Draw one card for each unique attack zone printed on cards in your card pool. He also has response, remove, discard one momentum. After your opponent plays a form ability on an action or an asset, cancel it and draw a card. If the ability, if that ability was on an asset, destroy it. I didn't read this card at all. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't read this card at all until like Today, when I was I was going through, and, that, and not that I didn't read it at all, but I had like glanced at it, and I just go, oh, non throw tech is a draw card. Uh, I didn't look at the second R. That second R is awesome, and and the thing is, is that there's not a lot of great answers for assets. Um, the the biggest weakness in this entire block we're in right now is that there's nothing that destroys assets, and there's stuff that commits assets. Um, there's a couple of cards that do it, but not many. Um, so it, it nailed it's one of them and nailed it commits other nailed it's and things like that. It's really dumb. Like there's not a lot of great answers to assets. This card says I remove this card of momentum after they try to form on nailed it, destroy nailed it essentially. Mm -hmm. um, after they play ominous whistle, uh, cancel that ability. Um, self destruct. Self if they go to self destruct, cancel it. Um, it uh, lion stance. They go to form on lion stance. Boom, gone. Um, it, there's this card's really good and, and I didn't. I didn't really pay much attention to it, and it's because, honestly, I, I'm not looking at those symbols post-rotation right now. And if you do have those symbols, though, that's a great blessing to have that card. Um, super yeah. good card. Um, I hope I pull some from my boxes because that's not one of the two that I pre-ordered, and I wish I had. This it's a really awesome sideboard. This has two Takuma symbols. Super good card, yeah. How do you not look at this when this has two Takuma symbols? Um, because I don't... They, I looked to, ahead to see if there's any air order coming out, and there isn't, so I was like... Well, uh, stinging upper's good. So stinging upper's yeah, that's um, a thing. But other than stinging upper, there's nothing for him. So I'm I'm kind of, I'm not not very happy where that's headed right now. I haven't looked at it yet, but um, I thought about the idea of uh, running a bunch of these and zealot rushes and a split of different zone attacks in an electman build off of chaos. Um, and just uh, just trying to get a deck that just tries to combo out and draw a bunch of attacks and try yeah. and go off. Uh, it's not something I've actually tried at all or we're, even done on paper. We're, we're gonna I, I that's on the we're on the that's on the testing list actually after this <laughs> when this set comes out. Like I'm wait, I'm actually gonna wait till rotation to really test it because I just don't care about Red Horizon tides back right now. <laughs> like I just I I, but that's what I was – like, we had the deck built. One of our players who came in top four worlds, Andrew Forrest, built the deck. And I'm like, it's scary if it gets going. And this card just made that deck get more scary. <laughs> oh, I have something so with that. It's a luck man with uh, Heaven's Punishment. Mm -hmm. Got to do a likable uh, Heaven's Punishment with, like, uh, like um, what is the what's the K dash attack? The Ein Trigger. Uh, you do Ein Trigger and like you combo it, and then you make the um, make the uh, Heaven's Punishment have powerful, and then you make it unblockable and you powerful it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too much setup though. <laughs> boom boom boom. All right, moving on. 
Magnum Missile, four difficulty, two check, plus two low, four high five, range stun one. Enhance if this stack deals damage, draw one card. Enhance if this stack is completely blocked, your next low or mid attack this turn gets plus three damage. This is, um, this goes into like that order Magnet Man build I was theorizing. Just put this with its bigger brother, uh, Hyper Bomb. Like, it's, it's bad up. hyper bomb. Um, I, I, if it had a three check, I it would be a five, and I think the two check makes it a two. Um, I, I think as a two check, I, I just, I, I can't, uh, I can't play that as a two. There's no way. I, just I, I built like I have like a mid range, uh, ride in deck with this, where like literally you're playing twelve attacks at cycle. And that that that's why this card's in it. It's a four. It's a it's it's for it's a five damage move for four, and you're just like you're just progressively built. You're just not you're playing five card four cards a turn, and you still have five cards at the end of your turn. Like that's the idea. It's actually you're in Bryden. Yeah, like yeah. And it's really good. You know, like 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 there could be a, an order version of the same deck with Magda Man. Like the 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 deal dam the the for this like just cycling cards. Like, did you fully block it? All right, I draw a card. Did you fully block uh, Buster? Oh, I draw a card. Like, you just like put out a point of they have they, these hats hit that you get a card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I like this card a lot more until I saw Rain Flush get spoiled. Um, we'll get to that at some point. I, I, I think there's something for this card. Yeah. All right. Let's keep base in here. We're getting a. Apparently, Mr. Silva has joined us. Cool. Hello. <laughs> uh, four difficulty. It's Magnet Slam. Four difficulty. Three, plus one high. Three low four. Slam stun one. Enhance. Your opponent may not attempt to partially block this attack. <laughs> I like it. Best it's such a numbers card. I, I, I don't. It doesn't. I'm trying to figure out like an equivalent. It's like a, it's like a really good Big Mac. Like there's nothing that's like amazing about the Big Mac, but it's just a damn good burger. Like this is just a damn good like damn good numbers yeah. here. There's nothing like yeah. where I'm going. Oh man, this is changing the game. Like a Big Mac never changes the game, but um, this is this is a good solid Big Mac. I'm cool with this. Mm -hmm. It's a tasty burger. Tasty See, burger. we're putting this in uh, Chaos Snake Man and try to make this like one of the uh, Enders. Like, oh God! The deck, <laughs> like, you know, eight, they have to low block. Yeah, that's I think it's definitely something in one of my Snake Man builds. Could be good mono lows. Yeah, it could be you know something like that where it, you just put a lot of pressure on them to where they can't mid block it. That's it, and you know they're never going to Templar it, so that that helps. Um, it's it's solid. It, it, if, as long as you. The big thing here, and once again, this is my great with all slams. There's no slam kill condition, so like this is all. Um, there's no stank on this by default, so you have to put the stank on it. You have to either share symbols with someone that just does damage, order Clark or something like that. Um, yeah. where you can just go. All right, let's give this boy like four damage, and then all right, you better have a low block because here it comes for eight. Um, yeah. it, it has to be something like that where you you know it's it's gonna have, be more than four damage to where if it, they have to block lower, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. All right. Right. Magnet pool. Three difficulty three. No block. Two mid for four. Safe. Uh, order enhance. If this stack is completely blocked, commit one of your opponent's foundations. Chaos enhance. If this stack is completely blocked, your next check to play a low or high attack this turn gets plus two damage. It's a neat uh, poke card. It's a check. Excuse me. Yeah. It's yeah. a check. It's a neat poke card. Like, Either you nug your opponent for four, or you get to pull off these enhances and mess with them a bit, and then be able to play a higher difficulty move, and actually easier than it normally would have been. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, of course, if you're playing both symbols. Like, I think you have to have both symbols uh, in order for this card to be good, so you can use both the enhances. Otherwise, it's... Eh? It's four damage at a three difficulty that it's that's something um i the four damage really gets me i i don't it, it's so low that i don't know if you can really take advantage of it and really get much out of it um if it 
if it had a block or like it was an off zone or I know that the goal is they're trying to get people to block it, but like it's you know you know I, you know, you know who gets to play this card ra- randomly uh, with that has chaos in order La Bamba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's something. I just realized that I'm like I'm looking for the list here real quick, just trying to find some people who there's not Take many advantage. who no. like. Like it's Victor Labamba, two dot Keo. That's it. Like those are like the post rotation guys that this is, this card's playable. Magnet Man, Magnet Man, yep, and Magnet Man. Sorry, so like, four characters. <laughs> like it can be pretty good at two dot Keo. Like you just get to the light. You play this as your later move, and you're just like, so do you want to block this or take a ton of damage? <laughs> it's gonna be fun exploration. No, I like. Play right. of B. Janet. <laughs> I forgot to hit yeah. standard. <laughs> we got Don't Mess with Magnet Man. Uh, two difficulty, four, plus three mid block. Uh, enhance. Commit. If your attack, your attack gets plus one damage for each unique uh, attacks on printed in cards in the card pool. Response destroy. After your high or low attack is completely blocked, your next mid attack with a printed difficulty of four or less gets uh, multiple one. This so an additional is my, multiple to Hurricane Upper. Yeah, this is my pet card that I'm going to try to use to make the Magnum Man deck work. Um, like I like that it's an R, so I don't have to actually uh, crack it until you actually block it. And then it's damage bump otherwise. Um, I like that he's got the Bruce Lee, fi- Bruce Lee no-no finger. Ah, ah, ah. Can't say the magic word. We all did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. I did it, but you couldn't see it. <laughs> but this this just it I don't know. Uh other people will probably poo poo on it because it's a four check and whatnot. Uh I I'm I'm planning to win cardboard with this card. I don't poo poo it at all. Um I, I think I think this is the card that intrigues me the most out of the stuff we've seen. Um, I, I haven't looked enough to just see, like, okay, is there something crazy that you can multiple with this card? Other than, like, obviously, like, we're looking at Hurricane Upper, but, like, is there, like, a crazy mid attack that's, like, a 4 diff? There that... is a Ringman uh, card um, that's a 4 mid for 3, multiple 1, uh, combos with ranged. Uh, as a normal E, make all your multiple copies uh, a low. Is there something like because the the thing like with yeah. if you remember back with the like the seven twenty tier that made everything a mul- it could make in, any attack a multiple one, mm-hmm. um, like people were just go, all right we're gonna take an attack that's not multiple one that's really awesome and just make it multiple one so that it's more right. awesome. Is there anything that's that's I guess would be like it, there's probably something out there and I just haven't done enough research to know like if there's something that just gets crazy. Um, it does rely on them completely blocking your high or low attack I guess, but yeah, you know it's still uh, it's still a thing. Yeah. All right. All right, moving on. Yeah. Bring oh, yeah. Boomerang if you want to look at it. Electromagnetic. Uh, two for five, plus three mid. Enhance commit. Your low attack gets stun one. Responsible if after a stun attack is completely blocked, your opponent commits one foundation. This is decent. Okay. I like it more for the bottom one because this is essentially potentially just say stun two. Yeah, it's it's okay. Like I don't, I I think it's better than other characters. Like I I this is good in Snake Man. Yeah, yeah, it's good in Snake Man. Um, I like it in a certain. There's just certain characters I like. I like. I think I want to. I want to test this in Victor. Like I have a, a real feeling for like it. Just it just helps tap their board out, which I really like the idea. A card that's surrounded by lightning and a Frankenstein. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> like I think. It was a little overcosted. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's overcosted. I think like if you have a dedicated strategy of playing stun and tapping them down, it's a good filler card. Mm-hmm. Uh, like if you have the room for it. Um I don't know. I haven't really like I've just started putting decks together and now that there's a full spoiler. Yeah. Um This is one of those cards I feel like I feel it's it was more created for draft. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. 
We have Fatal Attraction, 2 difficulty 5, no block. Enhance Commit if your attack is completely blocked, draw a card. Enhance Commit, uh, discard momentum, draw a card. I another, like it. Another one of those draft cards that's designed to use your momentum up. Yeah. Um, it has, it's, it, it's not a block. Yeah. I'll never get to play this. I yeah. like this in Snake Man. Because this punishes them for blocking full, but that's really it's just I'm gonna, it's such a little return for a. I'm gonna point. have a lot of copies of it from drafting. I'm gonna say that. Oh yeah, I mean, like this is definitely a mid pit. Like, like I, I will see what happens. Like I want to draft this set and be like, okay, this is actually a pretty good middle ground pick for cycling your momentum. I'll win our fourth release event in a row, and then we'll see. <laughs> All right. Uh, Master of Magnetism. Magneto. I was trying not to make that reference. <laughs> uh, three difficulty, five plus three mid. Enhance your high attack gets plus one damage. Response commit one foundation before your attack's block step. Return it to its uh, return its zone to its printed zone. Your opponent may not attempt to uh, partially block this attack. Um, I like that that's a static E. Yeah. Your high attack is plus one damage. Yeah, no, there's no committal. Um, I, I think this is the first three diff foundation in the set where I've been like, I have to play this. I think this card actually is really good. Um, I, I think the, the, the first E is obviously good. If you're playing a high deck, just run this card because it's free E. Mm -hmm. um, but the uh, our commit is really big too because it means that they can't Templar you. Um, yeah. it, they can't Team K-Dash you. They can't... Um, they can't anything to you. They have to if you're especially if you're playing like mono highs or something like that. Um, just throw it in there and force them to have. You have to be holding the high blocks. You can't hold your mids. You can't hold mm -hmm. peaceful messenger or any BS like that. You gotta yeah. You know, let's let's do it like gentlemen. Let's let's block honestly. I like that um, it's so. not you're committing it. You're committing a foundation. A foundation. Um, yes. Yeah, which exactly. is even better. Like, this is a really solid uncommon. I yeah. I think it's really good too. I I, I was um, this is another one of those that. Um, much like the action, I didn't look too much because I'm just not. Magnum Man didn't interest me that much, um, yeah. so I didn't. I, I glanced at it, but I never really like digested it. Now that I've digested it, it's a really, it's a really solid card. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is kind of like I had to read that R a couple of times because I wasn't really paying attention to it when I first saw it before. Um, the more and more he said about it, I'm like, yeah, this card's. I gotta play it. Um, yep. I don't face enough Templars. To always think about, oh man, I gotta stop my opponent from playing a Templar. Um, I, I encounter whether it's Templar or Team K Dash or whatever people are playing. Like, it's just something, especially uh, especially if you go to the majors. I mean, you're gonna see that stuff a lot. So, because yeah. um, Templar especially is one of those cards that if people have the symbols, they're running it. Uh, so just just know what's coming um, and be ready for it. That's why cards like Short Fuse, Master Magnetism is gonna be really important too. Um, it forces full blocks, and not even just that, but if you're in a situation where maybe they're like, well. You know, I've got a high block and a mid block here, but you're running mono highs. You just killed the card. You just put a dead card in their hand, essentially, by having this. Yeah. So I, I like this one quite a bit. All right. No good. Yep. And we're done with Mega Man. Yay, Mega Man. I can it up. Is it time for Mega Man, Mega Man? I could switch it up and make it me Metal Man. I could do that. Nah, let's do the Magnet. Get through Mega. Mega, yeah. You got a lot of cards. He's got freaking 65 to 82. Jeez. Well, he's a 10. So. Uh, yeah, I know. Starter. He's a starter, and why is he backwards all of a sudden? I don't see him backwards. It's forwards for us. Okay. He's backwards on, he's backwards on the actual the Google, on the Google Hangout window. He's actually backwards. But as long as he's forward for you guys, we're good. Okay. Okay, so he's five difficulty uh, because he is a stacker. You can't stack him with Mega Man. Mm -hmm. uh, one dot. Uh, six hand size, 28 health. He is good order void. Uh, very interesting symbol spread. Uh, response once per turn after you play an attack. Choose Breaker 2, Powerful 2, or Stun 2. That card uh, 
that card gets chosen gets the chosen keyword if it does not already have it. Ants commit one foundation, your attack gets plus one damage for each keyword on it. So I already gotta ask. Yes. Um the new ruling that states you play if you play an attack card as a block it's not considered you're playing an attack. How are you giving a breaker to then? It's you are it's it's weird. Um, okay, this is attack card, not yeah. attack. Yeah, there's difference. There's it the difference. Doesn't say after there. playing attack, it says an attack card, which means just if it's an orange card that you're blocking with, give it breaker two. So if once per turn he gives an attack that doesn't have breaker, breaker, which is crazy. Yeah, this guy's nuts. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's super good. Yeah, like no, he is really good. I think he's one of the best starter deck characters for a long time. Uh, probably since Water Sakura. Yeah. I missed before my time, but um, I uh, legit. I think just in this set, I I think I think him and Gemini Man are the two best characters. Um, it, it's I, uh, Mega Man's super good. It, people, it, it's not just the the breaker and everything, but in if you get to a slower game, um, his E for the damage pump where your attack gets one damage for each keyword on it. Um, is E commit a foundation, like yeah. a foundation. It's not, you know, commit him for four damage. It's commit a foundation, um, mm -hmm. which is really nasty. He also shares two symbols with, like, contacting Hydran and stuff like that. So, like, you can just, all right, let's just make it more interesting. Let's give this attack, like, six, eight damage. Like, uh, he's he's really nutty. I, I think he's super good, and I'm yep. afraid to have to play him down the road. Yeah, he's, he's my other... I wouldn't call him a pet card, a pet cat, but I have a list put together. He's one of like the first three decks I'm trying out. Yep. Uh, no, I really like him. He's really, really good. Uh, let's move on. Yeah. We have Mega Slide. Uh, two difficulty, five plus one mid. Uh, stack ability of after you, after you block with a high attack. This card uh, with this card, it deals no damage. Enhanced discard the top three cards of your deck. Add one attack with two or more keywords discarded this way to your hand. Discard this card from your card pool. This is insanely good, and it's only an uncommon. Yeah. I like it because, while it doesn't, like, net you cards or anything or do shenanigans like Templar does, it's a solid block on two zones, and when you're ready to go for the kill turn, you can turn it into something else. Yeah. So think, it's, it never actually just is a dead card on your kill turn. I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it's amazing. If you don't get... Um, you're playing with fire on that E. Um, it, it, it's... I, I don't know. I, this maybe is a, maybe this I'm is too a hard math, on it. This is a math guy card. This, this is maybe, a... Like, this if, is I'm a like, if I'm in the bottom 20 cards of my deck and I could do the number... Like you know, what I mean, like I'm not gonna play this card when I have fifth, like when I'm in the fifty to twenty range in my deck. But I'm gonna play this at my twenty card section. I don't think deck. it's like I don't think it's garbage. Like I I, I think I give it like a three or something. It, it's I think it's okay. Um, I I do think you're playing with some fire on that E. I I think the the static on it's pretty nice. Um, I but I just I I don't know if it's gonna find its way into my deck. Like that's mm. that's the only. I, I think it's solid. I don't I don't think it's like oh man I better run like three or four. Let me go put three or four of these in my deck right now. Yeah. Um, I think it's okay. I, like I, I I put it in Mega Man as like a two of. Yeah, because you have to. The other thing too with that E is you have to make sure that you're running enough stuff with keywords if you're you know Which playing. I yeah, am Mega Man, player. obviously. Yeah, you are. Next card. E tank. Three difficulty <laughs> four plus zero mid block unique. Enhance your turn only. Move your opponent reveals their hand. Gain one vitality for each keyword on the cards revealed. Brett I love this card. Brett has been making this card grow on me more and more as I've been talking to him about it for the past couple weeks. Mm. Uh, I initially thought this card was garbage. There, it, it's, it's maybe a thing. Like you get to see their opponent's hand. Against a decent amount of decks, if they're holding on to a dex, you could probably gain three to five vitality. Yeah. Like, because remember, it's not each individual keyword. It's if they have enough keywords in hand, if like they're holding enough cards in hand, this is gain five. You can gain five to ten life on this card. 
they, they, if they, they have to play around that option. They're also, you get to see their hand. If they are bluffing you hard, they just lose. You're like, oh, you're bluffing me. Good game. <laughs> like, it can cite you for a kill turn. So, for whatever reason, they have two Trinity geysers in hand. How much life do you gain off that? <laughs> They're four apiece. Yeah. yeah so you, you gain, gain eight. eight life. Potentially, you're at half your... Uh, you've gained back potentially a quarter to half of your life back. Not going to lie, though, and this is my fundamental problem with the card. If they're holding two Trinity Geysers, they're coming at you. you they're not holding two. They're not holding two. They're killing you. Well, um, I'm, just saying, I'm just asking for a... Yeah, oh, I understand. You know, it just, it's, all, it's all theoretical. I, I'm kind of down on this card, and maybe it's one of those I'll have to see it in an action to appreciate it more. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't... Um, I like this. I, I like this with Gamma Destroyer, one of his, one of his uh, foundations, yeah. where, like... You you can if you know that they only have one card that matches two symbols with them, and like if they have to force a block on an earlier move, you you make just one gigantic move, and like you can't block this. Good game. Like it just it's it's an information game. That's what this card really is, and that information is starting to become more of a thing. Where if I know what's in your hand, I'm gonna win. Yeah. I I still don't like that it's your turn only, but I think it would be too good on your opponent's turn. Yeah. Alright. Roll! Uh, I, I have I, with this card. <laughs> so I kind this card kind of makes me wonder if Dr. Light isn't some sort of price support character card coming <laughs> down the road. Anyways, uh, two for five. Uh, plus two high. And it's another wordy one. Uh, ally unique. Four months per turn. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. You may add one asset card or character card among them to your hand. Discard the remaining cards. Uh, response removed from the game. Discard one momentum. Before the damage step of your opponent's unblocked attack, reduce its damage to your current vitality minus one. There are so many comments I have on this card. I think Brett Hillman said it probably best. Yeah, I, I like that this is also the only card in the set that does not share all three symbols uh, with its character. Because yeah. we just got to make Water Gemini Man uh, control deck. Got to do it like this with the moon bases and his character cards and Team K-dashes. Carver handed. Like, yeah, this, card this, this card... Um... I'm ch I was torn, and this is like the weirdest, like, I, I, it's really nitpicking here. I was deciding whether this was a four or five star card. Um, it's it's really good. Um, I have no clue in hell why they decided to give that water instead of void. Um, water opens up ten million more decks that are going to play this that in theory shouldn't be able to play it. Um, I It's, oh man, this card is really good. Uh, the form's great. Um, the R is stupid. Um, it's like I have a problem with the R. I like, kind of do too. Yeah, not even kind of. I a lot to do. I I think this card is like, way too good. You have to like be like you can't reduce it. Like you have to be under a certain vitality, right? You have like, to you be have to, at they, one for it for you to not die if you have this card in play, because yeah. it reduces the attack to minimum one. Yeah. So if yeah. you're at two, it just reduces it to one, and you you die. You don't die. Yeah. Like it's. Uh, this card is it, it's it's super good. If you're not at one, you don't die. Um, so the yeah, the, that's that card is really good. Um, and with a lack of asset hate, you're gonna you're gonna have this card when you need it. She's gonna sit around there forever just to wait to uh, make sure you don't die. She's yep. she's the giddy she's your giddy little wall. You're just like it's an ocean. So come on. And I also hate what like this card basically says. You are sacrificing a little girl to save your own life. <laughs> Thank you, Jasco Games, to know I'll allow it. Know, letting me know that I can sacrifice little girls if I'm going to die. Okay, have you, have you played Bioshock? you of the artwork I've shown you, where she is Lord and Master over Wheatsel. <laughs> True. You don't screw with this woman. NBC <laughs> has taught you this. Yep. All right. All right. Atomic Fire. Uh, four difficulty, three plus two high block, five mid for four. Powerful two ranged. It has numbers. It has numbers. Guys, you're going to give the stun two with Mega Man? 
and then you're going to commit a foundation, and it's going to be five mid seven with stun two. I know. Um, this I card's know. I um uh, this and the next card we're going to talk about are two of the dumbest freaking cards. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from a from a pure just like get get in there standpoint of numbers, those two cards that we're we're talking about this one and the next one are really crazy. Um. Like, it's it's some of my biggest concerns with Mega Man as a whole. Not that I think he's like Hannibal crazy, but I think he's going to be like, I think he's another one that could be a, a meta changer based on how people react around his the way people build him. He's really yeah. good. Yeah. All right, it's moving on. Dust Crusher. Oh my God. Four difficulty three plus two low four high four range stun one weapon. Enhance commit a foundation. This attack gets plus one damage and plus one to its stun rating. So this plus Mega Man plus Hydra's determination stun two four high for seven with what can we give it on top of stun? It's gonna be four high seven, and then you're gonna you're gonna use Mega Man's E, and you're gonna give it four more damage, and it's gonna be four high for eleven with stun two for five. Um, and it's so, powerful. And it's got power. Oh, oh yeah, 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 powerful. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, um, guys. This is. <laughs> This is a starter this is, exclusive. <laughs> and like, I, I said this a couple weeks ago. Meet your new Chasm Buster. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, this card's super good. Um, You're going to see this for three years. It's going to sit on that watch list and then never go away. No, because I don't... I Even now, like, I don't think it's busted enough that it's like, oh, it's got to go, but it's, it's super good. Um, it, and it has a low block. Like, just... Yeah. yeah, and it's a void card with a low block, which is like a, like an alien I, creature. It's, it's I, like I really, Bigfoot. I have this like this card's kind of in my pet list for my uh, my Leona deck I've been playing with, of like playing this in Leona Blade. <laughs> oh yeah, I, um, I actually built like, good Leona, and this was part of it. Yeah, this is like this after this this combo is after Blizzard Sword. Mm -hmm. Like this card is just does everything. This is a good toy for a Donovan deck. Yeah. This is yeah. one of my uh, Athena deck. You can go into a it's lot going, of decks. It's going a super good card. Does. Yeah. 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 This is like one of the best cards. Period. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on. Uh, yep. Hard knuckle. Five difficulty. Three. No block. Three mid for six. Punch range. If this attack is completely blocked, choose two of your opponent's foundations. Those cards do not ready during their next ready step. Um. Good in Sasquatch. Good in mature. Uh. Good punches. That's really all I can think of. It's yeah. you gotta have something in a pro rotation world to put in front of your valiant assault. This is one of your only choices. It's got punch. That's a thing. There you go. Not all I gotta say is you put it in front of valiant assault. No block. I'm I'm out. I'm yeah. good. Can't you put this in squatch and make it what? Five, five mid for seven. Se five mid for seven minimum. Like it's just gonna hurt. Like That's what it's gonna do. Get in there. Yeah. But, but That's valiant the hard part is. Order. That card in a vacuum isn't horrible, but when we've just looked at two of the meanest cards I've ever seen in my life, yeah, um, it's, kinda like it's, tough it's very hard to follow Dust Crusher and uh, Atomic Fire back to back with that. Like, there's just, there's, I, it's, that's tough. That's very tough. For me. To you know. Let's right. take it to the land of legacy. We don't talk about that here. Let's keep moving, guys. <laughs> Sorry. The, the oh, Chris, it is. The Please, Lobby, yes. guys. Three difficulty three plus two mid two low three breaker one. Uh, after you block an attack with this card, it deals no damage. And in Mega Man, this there has been a lot of discussion about this card. Yeah. Um. Well, not this card in general, but all the what are we calling them now? Super blocks. Omni blocks. Omni blocks. Yep. Okay, Omni block it is. Um. I mean, this one's a bit more fair because it's part of your attack lineup. But at the same time, um, I think it's the uh, Lilith Foundation that can pick up three damage th uh, moves to fulfill the battle. That is going to be a mean thing to do, I think. Mm -hmm. Just picking mm -hmm. this up every turn to block with. I, I, or, I can't wait to play like before rotation with that one uh, What's-Her-Name's Foundation that picks up range cards. Like, play it off symbol. <laughs> Be like, oh. I have this symbol. Block. Pick it up. Um, Deal. 
what you talk, <laughs> what, you, what you touched on uh, over there, uh, it, it's with fulfilled in battle. This this card's stupid. Um, yeah. it, it's, I I wouldn't be surprised if they touch on that down the road. Like I, I think that's good enough that it could be a problem. Um, like if I had a personal watch list, that's on it. I, it's you get to a point, especially if you're a larger hand size, where you can get a couple of them stacked, and if you have a couple of copies of this, where you're you're basically eliminating two attacks, three attacks a turn, and I that's it's it that's going to be really stupid. I I know that there's like a consensus, and I've heard a lot of people talking that the game's going to get really fast, and like people are going to play aggressively because of Gemini. I mean, I think the game's going to be really slow. I. I I think the game is slowing down a lot. I, I think we're in a, a zone of, like, you have to discard their hand or you have to, like, just hold, like, five, six attacks and push, push try and push them through. Like, I think the game's going to be very slow, and I think stuff like this is going to be a catalyst for damage. the slow game. Or you have to play consistent damage. Like, yep. you just keep, you put seven to eight damage on the board each turn. Like, that's what my riding idea is. I'm just going to keep playing damage on the board. The yeah. hard part, and this is this is where like this the where I think leaf shield's a problem. Um, if you if you have seven eight damage a turn, I you have to do that on your third attack because by my second or third leaf, like if, especially if I get the combo growing, if you don't kill me fast enough, um, fulfilled in battle leaf shield is really stupid. And I, is, yeah, that's where the the cat forces are going to be coming essentially. It has to, be, and it has to, because that's yeah. uh, otherwise it's it's going to get to a point where like you you just can't put anything through. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's discussions it's... like this where I wish cat force had been a card in the Doctor Wily starter. Yes. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. We got Rain Flush. It's five difficulty two check plus three high, three high for five, multiple one and safe. Enhance, you may discard one card with two or more keywords from your card pool in addition to momentum to pay the cost for this uh, attack's multiple ability. Um, I like playing a deck with like a bunch of ranges um, and then, like uh, this and Blizzard Sword and Motivation and just like you just start spamming out a bunch of multiples. Like you play a ranged card. You play uh, Blizzard Sword, you eat the first ranged uh, to that, and then you play uh, Rain Flush, you eat the Blizzard Sword to its multiple. And just with, like three cards, you're throwing out like 25, 30 damage. Mm -hmm. Without any damage pop. Um, I like this card. I also like you can, um, if they do something that you just, you want to not let your opponent block this card or something. Or like they do some nasty e on it. Um, you can have it eat itself for its multiple in order to abort the attack. <laughs> Anything else? No, it's, it's okay. I'm good with this it. This is one of the cards I really like. That I'm hyped about. That's why I had so much to say. I think it's a good card. It's a kill condition and it's a two check and yeah. it can win a game. So I'm I'm okay with this as a team. Yeah. yeah. Move along. Time Stopper, again, very misleading, leading us to think Flashman was going to be in this set. <laughs> Though, to be fair, he has Top Spin, and Top Man was nowhere to be seen. Uh, 5 difficulty 3, plus 1 low block, 6 mid for 4. Uh, it's got Flash. Uh, if this deck deals damage, your next attack this turn gets Powerful 2 or Stun 2. I'm sorry. Uh, you go ahead first. I, don't I was just going to say, if this card didn't have flash, I'd like it a whole lot more. Um, yeah. If it didn't have flash, you could damage pump it, and it would be like 6 mid 6. You could give it like stun 2 or something, mm -hmm. um, and it would have an amazing block. But because it has flash, you can't use his... You can't yeah. do anything with it. Like, you like can't it, put stun on it. You can't damage pump it. Like, I, I don't... This this makes sense as a flashman card, but not a Mega Man card. I feel yeah. what happened is that they want they looked at like the good symbol and were like, huh, there's not enough flash cards in good because concussion blast doesn't have good on it. So we need to get another flash card somewhere for him. Ah, let's put it on this man. I mean That's what I feel like happened. Yeah, I kind of have the same feeling. Like this card kinda fits it's gonna be played I bet just somebody's gonna play this card. I just don't know where. This would be a good setup card. Yeah. 
Yeah, like we'll see what happens. Like it could somebody could play this and blast it at my face for like with that one uh, flash uh, uh, quick man foundation that's like plus two speed plus two damage. Mm-hmm. Like you go play this respawn. It's a eight mid for six. It hits, and then you're just like, okay, now play an actual move, and as you get you get the you get as many keywords on possible on the card, and you're like, okay, plus five damage to this move. Yeah, like it's, I said, I think this helps initiate a kill, possibly. Yeah. But, I mean, standalone, you're really just doing it as a yeah. way to either get a cheap damage and set up, but on its own, it's really not too much. I mean, yeah. outside of that plus one low block, that's it. All right, moving yeah. on. Top spin. Uh, quite frankly, possibly one of the money rares of this uh, money rares of the set. Not ultra rares, just you know, standard money rares. Uh, four difficulty three, no block, four low for four, uh, reversal and slam, uh, all in, enha- uh, all enhance, draw one card, uh, void enhance. If this attack is played as a reversal, deals damage to your opponent, your opponent discards one card. So, he, this I don't think is particularly good in this Mega Man. I think this is good if you stack Mega Man 2, Mega Man 1. And I yeah. think this is even better in another Robot Master we're about to take a look at. Yeah. I, I kind of agree there. Metal but, Man, that's why I ranted about last night with him. But as a cut and dry top spin on just standard 2. Mega Man, it's not really that great unless you're playing it solely for the reversal. Mm-hmm. Um, did we lose Slam? Because I think that's just a picture of him. It's a cute picture of me, but I'm back now. We're good. Okay. Oh, my God, okay. Like, I don't you remember you wearing a black shirt. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still here, though, I promise. Okay. Really confused. I'm like, hmm. All right, next card. All right. Uh, a fighting robot. 1-5, plus 3, uh, mid, breaker 1. Response to destroy after you play the breaker build after you play a breaker ability it's plus one. Aside from the fact that I don't like the name, this is an amazing card. It actually has breaker. I didn't notice that before. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty solid spam. Yeah. It's not um, bad. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a dedicated breaker deck, you can't do that. <laughs> I think you're going too deep. If you go dedicated breaker, you better be lucky. You better be really a really safe meta for that plan. I think this Mega Man is a dedicated breaker, or as close well, as you yeah. can go to one because he get well, like without being like Team K Dash, where it's like E four plus your locker for you know whatever. But um, it's it's about the closest you can get because it's it's that's a reach. Like I, um, yeah. That just destroying a foundation to make them have to like pay one more on their next attack or something. That better be the most important one foundation committal that they'll ever have to make. I think his that. other card it is another card farther down the list that I yeah. think is better yeah. for this. Yeah, so I, I, I look at it more as a one five spam that actually has breaker. So it's yeah. just an additional breaker card. Mm-hmm. And then you oh. use that R just one in every ten games. Yeah. Yep. Alright, moving on. Uh copyright Dr. Light twenty XX. I love this name. Uh discard or bleh, one five plus three mid. Enhance during your turn, discard one momentum. If there are three or more different keywords on attacks in your card pool, add the top card of your opponent's deck to their card pool face down. Sorry, blanked. I I, I love this card. <laughs> I do too. It's really good. I think it's good. I, like, you can get to three. Like, there are certain characters, like, I'm going to say it, Raiden. He gets a lot of things to three keywords really quick. Like, your first attack is three keywords. And then if you have a few of these, it's a momentum built. You're just like, here's two cards in your card pool. Fight through this. And you're Mega Man, and, and part of it oh, with yeah. Mega Man is just being able to just go, all right, here, bre- um, I'm going to break her to you. And my attack has all these keywords. And then you go to play another one, and I'm going to put another card in your found in your card pool if you try to have your big kill turn. And I've just ruined your here half. Well, it's your turn, turn only. It's a your turn only one. Is it your turn? Your turn yeah. only. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If there's three more attacks on different on attacks. No, on it's your e card your pool, turn. E your oh your turn. Okay, I got to get used to this wording. But even then, like you can still you can still cripple them. Just make it hard to pass stuff. Just mm-hmm. just 
I, I like that one a lot. I think it's good, and I love that it's a spam. I yeah, mean, it's it's spam. almost, what's the card I'm thinking of? Or, this is like a spam version of Unquestionable Loyalty pretty easily. I, I don't know why it just stuck in my head, but I want a dreamland world where legacy actually exists and we <laughs> unban things. <laughs> like, that's with Lord of the Makai. Shut up. I think we should just unban everything and just go... Just... I liked Kevin's plan, where we play Highlander. Just, so make easy, everything, Highlander. just make everything legal and play Highlander. Alright. I'm out. I'm out. Fired again, Matt. <laughs> Fired again? What? <laughs> three difficulty, five, plus three low block. Uh, Giga Destroyer. Gamma Destroyer, by the way. Uh, enhance destroy uh, enhance destroy this foundation. This attack may only be blocked by cards that share at least two resource symbols with your opponent's character. Before rotation, I would say this card is could definitely just win you games. But as we're as a lot of like more KOF cards and cards from the starter decks that are being played. This card might not be as good, but like I said, like you could play this with E tank and just flash, make your opponent flash their hand, and if they don't have a, an answer to this card, you win. I like that it poops on people trying to play champ cards, uh, champ characters, or if they're playing uh, Templar. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I, it's it's, bad. it's okay. Um, I, I, it's, I see it, but I see I won't it too. Play that. I think it's good. I think it's going to be very hard to fit into your deck, though. Um, I, and it's it's one of those that there's cards that just look good in vacuums, and then when you go and you're trying to lay out, and I need to get this deck to 60 or 62 cards or whatever you're trying to work for, um, I, it's going to be very hard sometimes for space. And I think this is going to be one of these cards that kind of loses out to space at times. Mm -hmm. I would probably. I'm going to try to get one. I want to squeeze one into. Like an order deck that I'm testing right now. I want to try this, and I want to try this in Sasquatch too. Like, no, it's like just just say Raiden. <laughs> no, no, I want to play this in Sasquatch. I want to play one of the like one X in Sasquatch. Like, I, I I know it squeezes into the tribal protector slots a little bit, or puts that curve of your foundations up a little bit. But still, this card can just win you a game. Alrighty. All right. Merciful uh, zero six no block. After this foundation is destroyed by your opponent's effect, draw a card. So this is pretty much anti wild it, It's just they had to put a card in in case Wiley did stuff. It's uh, good against um, uh, what's that one Morgan? Is that one Morgan attack? Uh, uh shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Like the, like this card's a zero six. It's if you need that, if you really wanted the zero six spam. And you can maybe use it to your advantage. It could get there. <laughs> I just look at it as a zero six. Um, I, I don't think you'll. I mean, there might be a handful of times where you'll get to trigger the static, but as a whole, like if you're building your deck and this is in it, you're playing it because it's a zero six. Like it's yeah. You it's can't bank six. on it doing the doing the static. Which which insert like with good when like all of good's attack lineup is pretty much higher up on the curve. A zero six to spam build with is pretty good. Yeah, it's a zero six for Cossack Buster. That's what I see. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Never ending battle. Uh, two for five Get plus three man. mid. Response discard one card before your end phase. Add one attack card from your card pool to your hand. Only playable if there are five or more different keywords on cards in your tech card pool. Can we skip this card? I <laughs> it lets you pick back up uh, top spin and metal man. It lets you pick back up an uh, attack block uh, so that you can guarantee that you're going to have that breaker two next turn. Um, that's the key to okay. this card. It it's not bad, um, but you have to. It, it's it's got a very specific purpose. Um, it, the idea before the end phase, add an attack from your card pool to your hand, um, and the whole goal is that you can throw a couple. You can throw a couple of attacks and then. Um, if you go and you pass, like if you're going for a couple of pokes or something, um, and then you would pick up your block for the next turn that's going to be a breaker two. Um, it's just to ensure that you always have your breaker two block there. And that's yeah. the main key to this attack, or this foundation. That's, uh, that's guess, just, it's nothing, nothing sexy, but it's it's not bad. I guess I'd have to lay out, like, the attack lineup on some of my decks and see, like, 
All right, how viable is it to me to get to five every turn off of two cards? Yeah. Um, right. Mega Man himself, I guess, really is a big helper in that, but yes. it's... <laughs> It's it, yeah, it, that's going to be specific to whatever your lineup is too. Yeah, it's five different that, keywords. That's the thing. It's different. that's the key. I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to get much play beyond Mega Man. I think in Mega Man, it's a thing though. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. It's just yeah. all right. Oh. So that's the justice two for five, plus two high enhanced command. Name a keyword. Your opponent's attack gets minus X damage. Or minus X speed, where X is the number of uh, attacks with that keyword in their card pool. Um, this is a neat card, and this is where I like where I valued that Doctor Cossack damage reduction card way earlier. It's damage redu- it, This is two damage reduction cards and good. Yes, they're both conditional, but it's just if if you can build up enough of them, it becomes an issue. Like that's how DR initially became absolutely insane way back in the day. It's not that any of them were outstandingly good. It's the fact that your deck literally ran 20 of them. Mm. So it, It's okay. Like, I, I don't really like it, per se. Like, I think it's... It, if they're running a theme, that like a theme off of a keyword, this is a card. But outside of that, it's like, eh. Mm-hmm. It's minus two it's on maybe- average. Something like I don't know. Like, like the more attacks they play, this card gets better. Like that's <laughs> what it really is. If you're playing against a kick deck randomly, that's right. That stupid uh, Kim Ultra Rare. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's like oh minus five to your attack. <laughs> it's very specific. Um, it's it's yeah. very specific damage redux. I don't I don't know if it's um, because it's it's very limited to a deck that runs a theme. Um, I, it's I don't know if it's going to totally mm-hmm. ever be more than like two. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know if I'd give a spot to it, but I, I, it depends, I guess, on what my high blocks look like and things like that too, because it is a high block as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, weapons upgrade. Two difficulty four. No block. Unique. Response committed foundation. After you play an attack card, it gets plus one to its breaker, powerful, or stun rating. I love it. This is good. Make my leaf shields even more breaker. And this is pretty much an automatic include anything that can really run it. Uh, um, I hope this is one of the foil cards, and I hope it's beautiful. Yeah, it's um, it's a pretty solid card. I, I it's it's not amazing or anything, but as a, I, I think it's as a unique and it's like a two four, you know. So that scares me a little bit, but like as I think the ability is good enough to make it worth running, even with the the bad numbers. Like I, I think it's still worth running, um, especially in a deck that's going to be breaker centric. Um, I. I I like it a lot. Just and it's not our commit this foundation. It's our commit our foundation. So that's that's the thing too. Um, yep. So you can use it on multiple di- you know multiple attacks and things like that too. So I I, I think that's pretty solid. Alrighty. Next up, we switch. We got one more character for the night. Yay! Good, because my girlfriend is begging for begging for me to come out and watch stuff with her. <laughs> Because she's kind of mad that I'm doing two nights of recording, but I told her, I'm like, we have to get it done. Well, at least we're doing it back to back. I know. And we're actually making it done. We could actually finish this before 10.30. I mean, this is only going to take two and a half hours as opposed to three. We got this. Beast mode. Metal okay. Man. Metal Man. Uh, six hand size, 29 health, all fire void. Enhance, if your non-throw attack deals damage, add it to your staging area during your end phase. Yes, discard a card. Add one face-down card from your staging area to your hand. This te- Your attack gets plus two damage. Hi, Maxima Laser. My boy. My boy. Hi, Ma- Hi Maxima. How are we supposed to work? <laughs> My boy. I Hi. like ten attacks that involve face-down mechanics. Um, I, I think he's really good. Um, I... I, I think his. I think he's good. I think his support's good. Um, it's the rare good support, good character. I don't, <laughs> no, I think I think he's yeah. super good. Um, I I don't know exactly how I'd build him yet. I I think he's I, six twenty nine and good I, abilities. That's cool. I with me. I, I want to play like I want to play like this fire pokey deck with him before rotation of just going like play like all the little pokey moves and pokey then be like you and then you two and. Yeah, just poke, 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 and then there's like the elbow face. The elbow, if some of them hit, they get added, and then you're just next turn draw six. You're like, okay, 
more poke moves, pick up the ones that didn't hit, <laughs> that hit last turn. He just keeps cycling them through. Like, he just keeps throwing blades at you. That's the idea. He's just going boom, I like, boom, 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 I like that he's inevitability. Like, you can use the maxima, the, the lower end maxima moves. I actually, maxima laser is decent with them, and I'd probably run it as a one of, but I prefer, like, his, uh, the vapor cannon and the press, and yeah. it just allows for inevitability. See, like, the thing with presses, if press is already doing his enhance regardless of you doing his enhance. But it's plus two damage on press. Yeah, it's a five damage press that picks up another press. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to kidding about that. I'm gonna be the void control deck that sits there and just goes press you, pick up press, build, go, press you, pick up, press. <laughs> and then I'll be having leaf shields. That I pick up and block with fulfilled in battle. Why am I telling people this? <laughs> it's, it's out there. Yeah. It's, it's a thing. I know. Yeah. I'll play well. Fire or all. We good or moving on? Good. We're good. He's good. We're good. Saw blades. Four difficulty. Four plus one high. Unique. Enhance. Your attack gets plus two speed. Form and flip. Uh, commit one uh, card in your opponent's staging area. Good card. It's got Good. static speed boost, and you get to tap your opponent's character. I don't like that it's a 4-4, but I like everything else about it. I will I will gladly get over that it's a 4-4 for free speed and the ability to tap my character on my turn to kill them. I'm 100% with you. 4-4 uh, is literally the only thing that bugs me. Um, everything else I think is good. I think when you're having that battle for asset space in your deck, I think this thing can win out. Um, in a world where you can just simply lose to Nailed It, this card can commit Nailed It. I would also um, like to point out that he is so not wearing like his underwear. <laughs> He's trying to get me all hot and bothered. Um, I mean, look at that. He's got them red tidy whities Command <laughs> Girl. He's showing that's the, pe no he's showing the panty lines. All no, right. that's that's Gunship Revolution not, look, not, not checking continuity. That's what that is. But it's a super good card, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I have to take a red marker to my saw blades <laughs> and drop blood on them. No, I'm drawing that underwear. Ooh, ooh, sexy. Yeah, I like this in my trade. I like it in my. And doing this too. The nudity, the sheer nudity. And this is why we can't have nice things. Metal. All right, this is metal blade, guys. Uh, two difficulty, three no block, three high, three. Ranged, safe weapon, enhanced, change this attack zone to any other to any other zone. This card's stupid. This card's insane. <laughs> yeah. This guy, right. I want to play this in Mega Man. This is plus four damage in Mega Man. Yes, it I is. I want to play this in Lilla. I want to play this in everything. The card is a three <laughs> high three that can change the zone to any zone for free, and it's a two diff attack. Um, and it can't be reversaled, and it's got weapon and range, so it's got you know, hijinks with that kind of stuff if you have other supports and whatnot. Um, this card's really good. Um, I, I like it a lot. Another crazy, like, it just, here, let's give Mega Man an awesome void card and make it no. for seven damage, like, I, and stun two for two. Let's just um, give it a block. Let's make it more insane. Give it a hey block. Hey, guys, let's give it a block, too. Yeah, but, it's, it, I mean, think about it. This is, this is... I think this card is going to be less impressive in Metal Man than in other people. Um, I think in especially Mega Man, Void Mega Man with this is just dumb. I mean, it's essentially a three high or three low or three mid for seven uh, with stun two for two. Yeah. Two. That's a two diff attack that you're playing at the end of a chain. <laughs> That's seven damage with stun two on it. I, I, I Get actually did out a, of here. I, I want to say something. I actually did a deep I'll look through. There was a card very similar to this in design with like a two diff, three high for three that actually did a zone change, and it was a common in the first time around. This just shows how this game has developed. Oh, that this card it shows how good they got at learning how to balance the game. Yeah, uh, that card was zero, an ultra card rare. Card. It wouldn't matter. This card's amazing. Um, like, I, it's I'm scared of this card. Is, is this the other card you pre-ordered? No. Oh, <laughs> I'll get my, I, I got enough boxes. I'll get a set of it. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, Metal Slam, five difficulty, three plus one mid, four high five. 
slam, discard one momentum. If this attack deals damage, add it to your staging area face down. This is just a really good numbers card. This is like one of the better number slams. It's a number slam. Uh, it's a, it's a good, good card. Um, I don't I don't think it's like it's another one of those that doesn't like jump off the page. And go oh man, it's crazy. Um, it, it's it's just a solid card. Four high five is always good. Um, good block on it. Good ability. Um, and, and the fact that it, it adds your staging area face down right away if it deals damage is, is really solid. So um, that means it, it clears itself and becomes a foundation if it deals. So that's a really good trade if you have momentum and you know it's going to hit. So uh, I, I like that one quite a bit. I've actually um, I've got a deck that I worked on after Brett gave me an idea earlier today. Um, where if you have two of these and Legacy of the Apple, you can keep on getting the momentum to activate its ability. And then Metal Man, to keep on picking them up, and you oh, do this God. till you're out of cards in hand. Um, like you only have to Run have like combo. a couple of these hit. Um, but you play it to like a discard package of like Silent Assassin, Year 2000 X, Top Spin on your opponent's turn. Like you just strip their hand, and then you're just like slam, 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 slam. Hey, there you go, slam! I built you a deck. Yeah. Eh, Here's this one. It's cute. I like I mean, it. I mean, I like this card. This guy's got great. He's got great cards all around. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's really right. favorite symbols too. Alrighty. Uh, omnidirectional, omnidirectional blade strike. Omnidirectional uh, cluster punk. Yes. <laughs> five difficulty two plus two uh, mid four low five range stun two. Uh, weapon. While this card is in your carpool, you may attempt to block multiple copies with it as the it, though it were in your hand. Uh, for those that are questioning what the crap this is, please go back to our spoilers for Metal Man, uh, and we actually have Tim Keith answering what the heck this means. Yeah, uh, no, Hurricane Upper. Yeah. <laughs> and he has to destroy one foundation. This attack gets plus X damage. X equals the printed difficulty of the top card of your discard pile, maximum six. If for some reason you don't feel like picking up and playing that maximum press, just give your blade strike plus four damage instead. Yeah. I think this card's okay. I think it's very limited. Um, I like it better than Mega Man. Uh, Powerful two, stun two. I, yeah, I do too. Um, this is the hard part about Metal Man, um, is that I think that half of my opinions come back to Mega Man really kills it with this card and Metal Man does it. And, <laughs> and that's like my, my biggest issue is that I, like half the attacks here, I'm just going like, man, Metal Blade's awesome, but it's so much better in Mega Man. And then Metal Slam's awesome, but it's so much better in Mega Man. And there's just all these all these little things that keep coming up where it's just, oh, this character just loses. Uh, um, it's... It's a solid card. I wish it wasn't a two check. If it yes. wasn't a two check, I'd be more on board with it. I think well, the static on it is really yeah. it's a good counter to multiple. Um, I think otherwise, I think the the e on it is very limited. Um, it's going to be very limited. Like uh, like you said, Hughes, it's more it's more limited to uh, like I'm at, making sure I have this face down attack that I'm going to be able to pop with it so that I have the big damage pump. Otherwise, it's going to be a matter of like you know a four low seven on a two check, which is and little, little I know this this shouldn't be a competitive concern, but um, if people can't get a hold of uh, Psycho Medleys, uh, you can run this in Athena instead. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's a thing. I can see it. Yeah. Like, it's just, that's really more accessible. Yeah, um, I could. I think that makes a lot of sense, honestly, and it's especially with um, her form. And you're gonna randomly, you know, at some point or another, you're gonna first form and you're gonna drop an attack down there or something. I I, I think that's a thing for sure. Team Psycho Soldiers and stuff like that too. Well, this once again proves that Metal Man. Everybody does Metal Man better than Metal Man. <laughs> Just like in Mega Man Two, only yep. one hit boss kill. Moving on. Uh, changing directions. Two for five, plus three low, unique. Response before your attacks block step. If this its damage is less than its printed value, 
Uh, it gets plus two damage. Uh, response before your attacks blocks it. Uh, if its speed is less than its printed speed, it gets plus two speed. Judd. I... What? All right. I know normally you can only respond like once to an instance, but like I go to the block. You, you reduce my attack to zero. It's a six damage move. It moves it to zero. I do my R because it's below printed. I bring it plus two. Now, we're still at the block step. It's still below printed. Can I R again? If you got another copy. If, if you had another unique. copy. But it's but unique, unique, so you yeah, can. It's unique. I know. So, so I can only just respond once. I can't go R, 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 okay, it's back to printed. Right. Yeah, it'd be one, once per occurrence of the card. Um, so, like, if... Um, uh, you've got your your um, here's here's like the situation where you could do this twice. Um, I'm throwing a, uh, let's say I'm playing my metal blade on you and it's three three high for three, and you make it you like kill the damage to zero and you make the speed one um, with champion of Muay Thai and now it's a whatever it's all killed you killed everything yeah. out on it it's super slow and super not damaging mm -hmm. um you could do both r's on it and make give it yeah. plus two speed and plus two damage but you couldn't um you couldn't go like all right two 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 you um but it would be yeah yeah like it's still before the block step and it's still below print i guess i've just been playing force will and other card games lately which just made me <laughs> think about it in a different way sure. um where i'm just like these situations are still here, so I should be able to keep going. But that's just a more, I think, a case of me playing other card games while waiting for this set. I do think this is a good card, though. Um, it is. Uh, it's another. It's another Sasquatch. It's a low. A low block on void. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's. Um, <laughs> it's. It's good though. Two five low block. I think both abilities are good, and it's a free art. It doesn't commit. So, um, I. I think it's really solid. I, it, especially like. You're facing maybe even something out, out there like you're facing a Goro, or if they try to like you know eight thousand degrees your attacks or something where it's it's just making a bunch of your attacks lower than printed. You can just respond and beef them up again. Um, mm -hmm. I I think it's I think it's a really good card. It's a free art, so I'm I'm cool yeah. with that too. Like well, it's something I'm auto gonna put in like a one copy of if I'm on those symbols. I think so too. Yeah, I think it's a copy or two. I think it's worth it. Look at Uh, Deforester. Uh, two for five plus three high. Metal Man Enhance, your attack gets plus one speed. Enhance, destroy one foundation. If the top card of your discard pile is not a foundation, add one card from your hand to your staging area, face down, draw one card. I I actually kind of like this card, because it's a way, it's a it's a hard, it's a cycle. That's what you're doing. I mean, you're, I you're destroying a face down that you hit with to cycle it to put something else. You're cycling, you're discarding your card, which is you're putting the card in your face, your staging area. And you're drawing one. It's a cycling process. It's just worded. It's just a different type of one. I like this a whole lot more in Metal Man than I do anyone else. Um, if you're Metal Man, I think you play the crap out of it. But I think if you're not Metal Man, I don't know if you played it at all. Um, yeah, you know, you, no way. No, I, I don't think so either. A, and that's why, like, I, I think it's really good in Metal Man. I, I think anything that just says free E, get some speed, is really good. Um, mm. But unfortunately, it's limited to just Metal Man, so I think this card is going to be just limited to Metal Man. I think the second E is very situational. Um, I think the first E for Metal Man, though, is really good, and I think that's perfect for him. Um, there's, But there's no instance for anyone else. I really don't. I, I, I don't think I'd play it in anyone else. I still remember an Empire Circuit a long while back. Sean and Tim spoiled this card. It was the first Metal Man card we'd ever seen. And everyone's just like, oh, wait, what? What does this do? Nope, sorry. Already put it away. Like, they it just wanted to make, make a sense. scratch. It didn't make sense at the time. Yeah. No, good. All That's right, good. let's keep moving. We're almost done. Almost done day one. Design flaw. Uh, design flaw. <laughs> he, he needs that underwear to protect his butt. Oh, nope. he's getting in there. That's some hot action. That, that's that's a butt plug. Give him a hard there. knuckle. You people. That is a butt plug. <sighs> One difficulty five plus two low. Uh, after you block with this card, both players uh, commit one foundation. Enhanced flip. Both players commit one face down foundation. And you can I, commit this I, card to it. Yeah, I like this card. I, I actually really I like cards that trade, like I think it's 
I like the idea of trading down your opponent's board on their turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like that's just one of my I don't know I'm becoming more of the one I, I'm being less on the I want to use my opponent's turn as an aggressive point and like blocking with this card and activating it like face face down foundations are the first thing a player looks to to commit to tap the pass checks yeah. when those are gone it, it, they're stuck there then they go to their spams like if you just solely work down the, the chain with them trading this card off that went for like dirt when leading into your kill turn is really good. It's like, all right, flip that, flip that, flip that, flip commit, and then you just ready up your turn. They're they're down a lot of their a lot of their options. Another Sasquatch too. Uh, plus two low block. Um, yeah. Solid abilities. It's not. It's a total spam. It's not unique. Um, mm. I I think it's pretty good. I I'd have to look at like it's going to be one of those cards that I'm definitely going to have in an index just to fill out like I. Because I'm a stickler for like I try to have so many of like high and low blocks and stuff like that, and especially on, uh, on void, which is still like I keep joking about it, but they're starting like there's I, as you can tell from I've been able to say the joke like three times tonight. They're yeah. at least starting to look at this like the low block situation and make sure everyone's got access to some lows. I, and I think the creation of Snake Man, in this set is what made them look at it really hard because they wanted to make sure he didn't get out of control. Yep. Um. It's not quite Breaker, but I kind of like this in a Void Mega Man deck. I think it's good, too. I, I'd run at least a couple copies, and I'm sure I would, even whether it's to get more spam or to get more lows. Um, it, and that's like, if, if it was a blank card, I'd still be playing it just for numbers purposes. Uh, the abilities are okay on it, too, though. Yeah. Right, yeah. Almost good? Mm -hmm. Oh, this card. Maniacal Mania! Two for four, no block. Four and flip one of your foundation... Add one face down foundation to your hand. It's a solidly decent card. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good for what it is. Um, if you have, if you're, I think it's more beneficial in Void where you could do some stuff like Team Psycho Soldiers yeah. and sort of set up what you're gonna pick up. Um, if you you get like a, like um, people used to do with K Dash back in the day where they just Team Psycho Soldiers and put down an attack early and then pick it up later when they needed it. Um, I think you, this is more of that kind of situation where you're going to use pick mm -hmm. up something you need or you pick up an attack that you... Yeah, it's recycling attacks. It um, says, that's, that's not bad. It says F flip, pick up a maximum of press when you're ready to go in. Yeah, pick up uh, a lot of things, honestly. It, especially The idea, I guess, is in, in conjunction with Metal Man's ability where like he's putting things face down and like dealing damage and putting attacks face down. Um, so I, it makes sense. I, I think the... The one thing I'll say about this stuff is like I, I feel like the the cards in the sets really support the character they're intended to support. Like it's not a lot of, with the exception of roll, everything is is pretty much set to support their character. Um, it's it's just those weird situations like Metal Man, um, by no fault of like the it, like I, I see like the intention of of Metal Man, um, in his support, but it, unfortunately a lot of it I think is better in Mega Man. But that's not, it's not that it doesn't work in Metal Man, it just works in Mega Man better. Like, Mega Man has the stun and breaker and a lot of damage, mm -hmm. uh, a lot more damage, but what I see what Metal Man offers is he offers an inevitability plan. Like, if you're hitting with his E or hitting with Maxima Presses, it allows you to get to the late game, where, like, if you basically brick on attacks, uh, like, say you just draw one attack in that late game, as, as long as you've been hitting with stuff earlier on, you can go up to six attacks into yep. your hand. Like, and a lot, like, I hear people, that is some people's biggest complaints, like, ah, oh, man, I bricked on attacks, my deck screwed me, ah! They get all, pour, th pour their salts all over the table. And I think Metal Man's gonna fix that. It gives that inevitability option. Yep. Um, yep. Why I like him. You're you're making me gonna play Me Mega Man probably before him, but Metal Man is probably gonna be the one that I take in practice with the most. Yeah. All right. Uh, that takes care of part one. So we're gonna take a small break. Uh, head over to the next video. Check out the next seven masters, and we'll see you over there.